Hello and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I am Jen. I'm Miranda. Kathleen. And we're the team behind Yarnia and this is a podcast all about knitting, crochet, and fiber stuff and things you can do with yarn, That's whatever that may be. Yep. And and yarn adjacent stuff. And yarn adjacent stuff. And accessories. Yeah. Yes. Because who doesn't love a good accessory? Exactly. That I is what I was just going to say. Who love a good accessory. Well, totally. Also, if you're like, oh, you know what? I just bought a bunch of yarn or yeah. I'm working on a project. I'm full up. But like, look at that. That's something cute I can have. We literally, our first customer yesterday, um, she came in and she's like, I'm sure you hear this from a lot of people. I have enough yarn to open a yarn store, yep. but I need something. So what do you have? Okay. <laughs> we showed her all kinds of bags and she hadn't gotten pearl strings before. Uh, and uh, yep, um, Accessories make your life easier. Trinkle sock rulers make, yeah. and pearl all kinds of fun things. Easier. Definitely. I mean, this that is, is one that I cannot believe how much I use my pearl strings. Oh my God. I know. Time. Exactly. I feel like my sweaters are much better fitting because I use pearl strings mm, all the time. Yes. Well, and, and, and I think it's a well, and you can stop and try it on without being like, oh my god, I have to... It's a process. Like, it's a, it's a flame in, exactly. or like thread another needle through, and I'm yeah. like, meh, all my needles are upstairs, and I don't want to go get it. Yep. I'm too lazy. Exactly. I'm too lazy. Same. Um, Same. Anyway, uh, this is episode, I don't know. Um, But you can guess. 118. Ooh, higher. higher. 119. We did it last time. Oh my god. We did this again. 120? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I, that I was actually surprised price. it was I... 120 when I was working on our little sheet last night. But it is. a memory of a goldfish when it comes to these kinds of things. I thought it was 119. Like... Oh, see, um, I, the sheet I had filled out from last time said 119, so I'm assuming. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going by you because I clearly, like, I can remember random details about movies I saw 20 years ago. I uh, can't remember if I ate breakfast this morning, how much coffee I had, did I get coffee? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, any, anything. God help me from last week. <laughs> Two weeks ago. Yeah. And I know nothing. Um, wow, 120, that's a lot. It's a lot, it is, 120. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at us. It's the end of the mortality table if you're an actuary. Oh, wow. Is it really? I believe yeah. it. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. That's, could you, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to live to be 120. No. I don't know. I don't if know. If I'm knitting and running Yarnia, absolutely. Right. Y'all can come sit and knit with me. I mean, it depends yeah. on what you're doing, right? Yeah, for 80 sure. 80 years from now. Most, most people don't have great quality of life at 100, so <laughs> That's yeah, true. if you have another 20 years. My grandmother, my mom's mom. Uh, what was she? 102, 103? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mom, you can comment below and correct me. Um, at like a hundred, she was super spry and bossing everyone around. She had a great, I, I mean, she, she had like a little motorized scooter in her, like whatever assisted living retirement thing. And she was in the independent wing. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically she, she kind of needed it, but she also kind of didn't, but mm -hmm. she was a terror. Mm -hmm. in those halls because like she would go as fast as she could like a little <laughs> little flag on the back like uh, and you're like oh my god almost terrible driver uh, um but yeah no she was living her best life she yeah, was good jean's grandmother was like that too she was out gardening at 100 like she had yeah. a serious vegetable garden they they grew up on a you know they had a farm which by that point was mm. you know I guess, I don't know if other people were doing the farm, but she still had a vegetable garden part, and, and that was where she passed. She was out there in a vegetable oh, garden. Oh, wow. Good for her. Yep, yep. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I mean, so, I don't like that, but yeah. But, but even so, but so that's a hundred, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, if that's, if that's a hundred, that's exactly. I guess that's we've awesome. had some medical advances. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. We'll aim, so we'll see. Do we'll you, aim high. We could be. This is a cheery topic. <laughs> yeah, man, we're we're uppers today. <laughs> we well, question? the actuary in the room. No, how old no. do you? <laughs> no, I do not want to make that our question. For no, you. I don't no. either. That's a, that's I a don't hard pass. Either. That's a hard pass. So actually, um, there was one thing we forgot to do last time that we had intended to do. Mm -hmm. So I want to just go ahead and do it now. Um, you know, you guys know we normally give something away every episode. Um, we love to share our new goodies with you and. Yeah. Um, all of that. So, uh, and when people send us pictures of what they've done, we love that yeah, because love it. it's so fun, especially yeah. when it's something really creative. So Kendra M who won, um, a couple of episodes ago, <clears throat> excuse me, made her own squishmallow 
And Amanda's going to put a picture here. It is the cutest thing. Uh, so Amazing. Can love, it. love it. What a great idea to do with so real. Cute. And um, thank you for sharing that with yeah. us. We love to see the results. That I people, love it. And you said that yeah. she like winged it. She freehanded it. Yeah. She, so cool. she said Amazing. she couldn't find a pattern. Um, again, I looked at this two weeks ago because we thought we were going to talk about it last time. And yeah. la last episode was the one where I was watching the clock the entire episode. Today, we, we were under pressure. Today, today we are we are a little more relaxed. We've we're actually chatted for an hour before we even started. <laughs> well, then well, for and an hour and, and me for less than an hour because I went to the gym this morning and then forgot. Oh yeah, I need to take a shower before I come podcast, <laughs> which we all appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you definitely do. And <laughs> I, I also washed my hair this morning and I was like, is it? It was twenty seven degrees. It was probably even colder than that it when was you cold. got up. Oh. It was really cold this morning. I did not but. wash my hair, which is why it's back. <laughs> no, my, mine, it definitely was time, but it's like, if my hair is up to here by the end of the podcast, that will that not will be, be unexpected. Like, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you can really, you, you it can. It gets bigger as it dries. You can track whether my hair is clean or not by whether it's down. Because if, if it's back or in braids, we're in dirty hair territory. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, and I'm like, whatever, I don't care. I'm still the cleanest one in my house because I live with three you're boys. Because you're a girl. Oh, yeah. I'm a girl. <laughs> yes. And I live with three boys. Normally, the girl tolerance for clean is, is much higher. Oh, except in middle school. Tolerance way for... higher. Well, uh, John I doesn't know. have to worry about washing his hair because he's bald. That's so true. So he's like, whatever, yeah. I use soap. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I have to dry my hair. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't understand it's process. That. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's I need to have heard boys into the shower this evening that would be a good plan well i'll tell you the nice thing is is that ollie who is my reluctant more reluctant bather um not that he smells bad right he's like 10 year old boy he, right like the yeah. worst he smells is like a little sweaty or like a you know squirrel or something <laughs> right and that's like after a couple of days of like hardcore i'm like you still smell fine um <laughs> But he has taken now to, because we have a rule of, like, no video games during the week. Oh. And also, you can't ask for additional screens during the week, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, Ollie, being the be clever... The industrious in, little... Industrious little... this child. He little so elf cute. that he is, <laughs> is, like, comes home from school and is, like, does his homework. And he's, like, how can I help? <laughs> and I'm, like, well, aren't you lovely? And I'm, like, something's up. Right. I'm like, in the back what of my head, I was like, yeah, I know you. I'm like, you know, I see My kids you. want to help me with dinner, but they're not like, oh, no, no, no. rando, how do I help? No, he's rando, how do I help? Because he knows the purpose. if he does jobs, jobs, right? Like, I'll be like, he's like, what can I do now? What can I do now? And he knows that I will offer, or we will be like, fine, you can go play FIFA downstairs for like half an hour. Uh -huh. And he's like, thank you. So I'm like, all right, go He's take out the recycling. The yeah. And I was like, take this up to the, I'm like, bring in the mail, bring in the package. The house is so much tidier. Ah, he gets his it. little like FIFA. I won't let him play on the iPad because like that way lies madness and just like a deep dive into Minecraft that he'll never yes. have. Enough, right. Mm, so yeah. like he yeah. can dip in and out of and save a game and like FIFA or whatever it's called now. I love the parent controls on Switch. Oh my God. Right. They're so good. So good. Um, Maybe I need to set one of those up for Gene. <laughs> no, straight up. I mean, we yeah, also use I, we also use Custodio. So, um, which if you have children and you need to limit their screens and control their screens and see what they're doing, highly, highly recommend Custodio. Q U E S. I'll link it below. Yeah, she'll link it below. I spelled it wrong. It's fantastic. It's very fine grained. I can turn off his iPad. Um, I can, he can have restricted times on his iPad and his computer. So this kind of thing. And like, I could add the switch, which has great parental controls. I could yeah. add the PS five, which does not have great parental controls, but is only in the basement. So, um, so it's so handy. Cause I'm like, look, the recycling's taken out. Like the dishwasher's unloading. Wow. Like everything is fantastic. And he's like, can I help you? Can I help you? And I'm like, all right. Do this, 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 take a shower. And he's like, okay. Nice. Goes, takes a shower, wow. comes back down, and I'm like, all right, now you can go play. And he's like, nice. Okay. Yeah. And I, like, I love, I it. He, love it. He totally got into the spirit of it, like, no you asking. Know. Like, he knows what he needs to do, you know? I was like, he's Very such a little Scorpio. He's so manipulative, and I love it. <laughs> Reasonable. 
We're usually doing homework till nine o'clock at night at least. So. Mm -hmm. He's uh, fourth grade, so he doesn't so have a lot. <laughs> He's got like a math sheet, and then yeah, and one of the things, and I'm like, all right, read. And he's yep. like, okay. Then he's, I'm like, okay, now you can go play FIFA. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I was like, that's the best way to get him to take a shower. As opposed to me just yelling at the 15-year-old. He smells uh, horrible. Oh, go upstairs. Oh, so he's playing Frisbee and everything. He's, he's playing great. Frisbee. He's doing fencing. And I'm like, you're sweaty. I'm like, wash your face. Ew. <laughs> gross. Just, just, just gross. Uh. So actually, I just remembered another thing that we said we wanted to talk about mm. before we got too far into the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, we have, you know, friends and viewers in certainly outside of the U.S., especially in Canada. I'd say we get more requests from Canada than anywhere else. Um, and we have not been shipping outside of the U.S. until now because we were using the USPS system and the postage was just so insane. Crazy. Um, that, you know, anytime we would give somebody a shipping quote, they would decline anyway. So no. we just didn't pursue it. We finally are at a point, um, we've got somebody working with us on doing shipping and we're, you know, moving to a new system and so far it's been going really well and we can begin to start thinking about shipping outside the U.S. Yay! Yay! So what I would like to do is for our first five Canadian um, viewers that want to place an order, if you email me what your order is, I can give you a shipping quote and hopefully it would, it will be um, a reasonable enough amount now that you might actually want to place that order. And for your help with this, we would give you 20% off your purchase. Yeah. So the shipping You're our guinea pigs. The... Hmm? You're our guinea pigs. Yes. Exactly. It's, it's a little a thank little you for run. helping us figure this out. But we want to, we need to do a few packages that way, um, you know, to make sure that it makes sense before we actually add it on the website as an option. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you'd like to help with that, if there have been things you've been wanting to get that you can't easily get in Canada that we carry, um, you know, go ahead and email us at hello at shopyarnia.com. And uh, let's see if we can make this work. Yay! And obviously, once that is going, we will look at expanding beyond that as well. But one step at a time. Yeah. And that's one of those things where you don't realize it. You know, if, if you're in the U.S., you don't realize necessarily, and you don't have, like, you're not shipping internationally for any specific reason. Mm -hmm. You don't realize how expensive it gets oh, and I how mean, quickly it adds up. Shipping to Canada is incredibly expensive if, it's just, if you're just doing yeah. retail great yeah I, it's nuts. Yeah, I had a customer one saturday who had been shopping here because her son lives nearby mm -hmm. and needed like one more skein for something yeah and like the, oh my goodness the minimum was 33 dollars at one point yeah it was just <laughs> ridiculous like for any anything that was a package of any sort well you know, and you like think one about it of yarn. It's there are crazy. places in canada that are way closer than like yeah california yeah oh, exactly. certainly right. yes this was toronto yep. i was like yeah. to toronto or like quebec you could yeah drive oh, yeah. there yep a hot minute. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think that so. was that was the strategy was to like wait till someone was taking a business trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we the actually uh, among <laughs> the among our Canadian viewers who have wanted to order, a lot of them actually um, have you know people that they know well in the U.S. who either accept packages for them. Yeah. It's like it's it's not just an us problem. It's an oh no, problem. it's a, it's a yeah. it's a so institutional problem. Yeah. So anyway, so we are, we're hoping to resolve that and we're, you know, trying this out. So yay. We're excited. Excellent. That'd be great. Hope we can, hope this way works. It looks like it should. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we should uh, talk about what's going on around town. Well, it's... first, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's yes. Day, everyone. We're getting close. Or Galentine's Day. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Palentine's, Palentine's Day. Day. Exactly. Uh, whatever you want to choose to celebrate or ignore. That's Either right. Either works. Yeah. 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 I have. Ma Abby came in the dining room. She's like, Mom, you have never decorated this much for Valentine's Day. I Aww. got like a happy Valentine's Day Aww. banner across the windows. Aww. And, like, yeah. Little heart, you know, like those crepey things that you like fan out. Oh, I yeah. love those things. Yeah. yeah. And some balloon things. I'm like, girl, I found a kit at Target. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when mommy goes shopping and sees uh, that dollar area in Target. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally, it was. All came yeah. in one kit from Target, and yeah, now we have so decorations. Fun. I always do a little care package for Haley around yeah. any holiday because um, they have things at her school, but they're all food based, and yes, she yeah. it's like it's just not She's... worth it when someone's got se severe food allergies to yeah. be risking something like that. Yeah. So I tend to send her non food things. But so I went to the dollar store. I got this thing that 
like you can hang from your doorway that's like their heart so it's like a waterfall heart thing uh -huh. that was so cute yeah. i found really a few fun things this time sometimes it's hard sometimes it's like you know. yeah well that's why i was at target was for all of the in college kids and uh -huh. four packages well Aww. and now baby too and they have like the yeah. cutest oh like uh valentine's collection at target the uh -huh. mommy and kitty kids like had they had matching collection Aww. for moms and kids uh-huh it was very very cute that's so sweet it was mostly sold out but i did get abby they had like and they still had some at the target near willowbrook mm -hmm. um skirts like uh, mid calf length skirts, tulle skirts with like little velvet hearts on them. Oh, cute. You know, white with little black hearts. Oh and my god, that's adorable. It was really cute. So that's yeah. what she ended up. Um, there, I'll put a little picture of Ed. No, yeah. I won't because there's other kids in the video. JK, I won't. But that's what she wore to the little school dance. Cute. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, the school dance. Okay. Yeah, Bali's school is having a sweetheart <clears throat> dance that I was like, please don't make me go to. Oh, a chaperone for the first time. I am still Ever. scarred by the first two Halloween hooplas that I went to, which were like the Halloween parties, which were kids had a great time. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. Oh, I always loved was the Halloween parties at Edgemont. Oh. <laughs> and Max was in kindergarten and I, I was chasing a toddler and a kinder. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that, that does not sound fun. It was a nightmare, scarred. And now it's Jonathan's job. Yeah, there usually they have like the middle school dance yeah. later mm -hmm. and the elementary school dance earlier. But this time, for some reason, they had them all together. So I was like, well, cool. If all my kids are there at one time, oh my God. I'll just go and chaperone and like check, check. My You're like, duty what? is done for the year. You're like, I nice. have volunteered and I showed up. I actually, all my things. I, I volunteered the used uniform sales. So like, that's oh, my nice. job. It's textiles. Do you know how much I love textiles? I actually love... <laughs> folding and organizing the clothes there you go it's good to find something like that that you actually enjoy I, yeah. right because I mean, there are my, probably other people who date it so. my whole life like i like ironing clothes yeah i love yep. ironing clothes. right <laughs> it's so satisfying i mean i don't i love I ironing for sewing i don't love ironing clothes so much i my mom would always put me in charge of of ironing i mean yeah. and uh, like it's not like I folding buckets along. wear a lot of things that need to be ironed, but yeah, not you, anymore. Like, will I iron my napkins? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, especially for holidays it. and stuff. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Um, do you know what I hate doing? What? Washing cups. Oh, mm. So, yeah. plates are fine, but I hate washing <laughs> glasses, glassware. I don't like washing silverware. So I never really thought like about vacuuming. it. But, oh, I hate, I can't Matt vacuum, actually. Well, so allergic. vacuuming. I would think, He's Hanley loves like, vacuuming. can I vacuum the basement? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Go for what? it, huh? Why would I stop you? So. Yeah. What is wrong? Of course. Yeah. Go ahead. Knock yourself out, Ken. And I he's know. like, it's just so satisfying. I'm like, I, I hear you. I'm really glad there are other people in my house that like vacuuming because right? it's one of those, it just kills me with my allergies. You just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I organized the used uniform sale at the school, which nobody ever sees me because yeah. I'm in the attic, you're in the back, sorting laundry. <laughs> yeah, I do the readathon at Molly's. That's school, right, which is yes. coming up in March. Um, but thankfully, I've gotten it down to it's all online. God bless. Um, oh, nice. All of the collecting the donations and everything like that. So I just need to rub in volunteers, and I need volunteers who will continue to do it because this is my next to last year at this elementary school mm -hmm. and i need to get some need to start handing over parents. yes yep yes that's there, what there i need to one. do there will be one yeah i know i just gotta like volunteer opportunity <laughs> and the thing is it's okay. very time specific yes so you don't have like something that you're Three doing weeks. from september all the way to june exactly yeah that's kind of and that program. that's mm -hmm. my that's my pitch to all the parents and the um at the beginning of the year, I'm like, if you want to get involved with something that's like a big fundraiser and makes a big impact and is super fun and starts and stops and then you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is what you want. Yeah. And not during the holidays. And not during the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. In a, in a quiet time where everybody's bored. <laughs> yeah. That's um, great. That's a good one. Yeah. Speaking of donations. Yes. yes. Exactly. <laughs> good Speaking of in. donations. Good, good segue. Good segue. Ta-da. Um, we have well the knit for food registration is officially open yay yay team yarnia is registered yay. um 
and all the registration is open at uh, Laura Nelkin's website. So linked uh, here. Uh, well, so down below. below down below mm -hmm. knit for food it's march 23rd that's a saturday starts at 10 a.m ends at 10 p.m so it's 12 hours of knitting and it's sort of like a readathon yeah mm -hmm. or a you know jump rope for heart or a walkathon or a bikeathon or a mathathon a -thon, if, mathathon kind of -thon. if you used to do those i remember the mathathons oh um, <laughs> gotcha. no i did not do the math i don't remember the math <laughs> There's really an arithmetic a thon, which I feel like should have been disclosed at the beginning. No, right. But that's what different kind of math. Different for arithmetic. No. Well, okay, but I don't like arithmetic. I actually do like math. Those are two different things. Mathematics. <laughs> Mathematics. Mm. As opposed to arithmetic. Right. <laughs> that's what calculators are for. Exactly. So explain more about the math. Um, okay, so Laura Nelkin, this is the fourth or fifth fourth. year? Fourth, fourth year. Fourth year. Um, and... She organizes it every year. Um, there are the donations. Um, so if you're participating, you're committing to knit, right, for those 12 hours, uh, but really collecting donations, uh, you know, from sponsors um, who are sponsoring your knit-a-thon um, to uh, alleviate food insecurity and hunger um, through four organizations. Uh, Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it Feed America? Feed America. Yeah. Feed yeah. America is one of the big ones. Yep. Okay. My mom volunteers for Meals on Wheels. Um, I'll look it up so I give you correct information. Yeah. Well, that's okay. It's in my... It's in charge of editing. Yeah. It's in <laughs> my... Right. It's in my... Thing. Feeding America, World Central Kitchen. Oh, I sure. love World Central Kitchen. Yep. No Kid Hungry. That's a great and one. And then Meals on Wheels. Yeah. Those are um, great organizations. Yeah. So all four of those organizations are supported by um, Knit for Food. Um, team Yarnia is uh, a team. Um, so it's not one specific person. It's Team Yarnia. So if you're interested in donating um, but don't want to like have your own, you know, like collect sponsors and do that thing. You can like donate to Team Yarnia. Yep. So that link is also down below. Um, and if you would like to come and knit a thon in person with us, mm -hmm. we're going to be hosting in person knitting on the 23rd of March from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So that's two hours past when the stores open. Mm -hmm. So it's the entire time the stores, well, actually an hour before Even the stores. Even an hour before, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring your coffee. We'll have coffee knitting yep. for an hour. Yep. And if you don't bring coffee, we've got a lot of coffee shops in here. We've got yeah, five absolutely. right around the corner. Yeah. Um, They're all great. They are all good. Um, Y'all have your coffee today. I'm out already. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, that's what happens when you start at five. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then... It goes two hours after, so yeah, it'll be that'll a be long fun. Day. That'll be and, fun, and also, and then you know, you can head on home and continue knitting, knitting on your yes. own for yeah. the last little bit. So, um, it's funny, I didn't realize exactly what the parameters were when we were talking about what the hour should be, yeah, but I, I think that's still fine. I don't, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think any there's very few places that are open all 12 hours to yeah. host live yeah. knitting, um. And, and we don't have any classes on the calendar that day, right? We'll have correct. the store open just for yes. yeah, just for knit for food, yeah. and it's far enough away that we're you we know can, we, can we can work can, around we'll, it. We'll, we'll make sure yeah. it stays blocked out. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's going to be super exciting. Yeah, it's I've good. I've set a goal for Team Yarnia of two thousand okay. dollars. Okay. So we'll see. Um, would really love to hit that goal. Um, last, yeah. uh, actually, I would love to blow through that goal. Yeah, I would love to blow through that goal too. So. We we'll it. see. Uh, we'll see how we how we do. I think last year they raised. Um, I just had it up, so I'm going to tell you. Um, last year they raised three hundred and forty thousand nice. dollars. So that's awesome. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, it'll be a fun day. And uh, and and yeah. Oh, and also I put in the in the notes because there's a spreadsheet on Lauren Alkin's site for play people. So if you're not local to us, right. you're yes. looking for some place to go, you can go to her website, mm -hmm. link yeah. below, mm -hmm. and there's a spreadsheet of locations that are hosting knitters for Knit for Food on mm -hmm. the 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, and we will also have a collection, so if you're coming and would like to donate locally, we'll have a collection bin 
for uh, Tony's Kitchen mm -hmm. as That's well. Great. Which is one of our local um, organizations that um, uh, alleviates food insecurity in our area. Mm -hmm. yeah. So great! Ta -da! Awesome. That is exciting. That's so, yes. Yeah, oh. So you can join Team Yarnia. It's it's not so sophisticated that it like attributes team members to Team Yarnia. Uh huh. Um, but yeah. How did how does it work? Well, everybody. I mean, if you're on Team Yarnia, it's like you're basically just contributing to Team Yarnia. Okay, so, so whatever. Okay, whether, whether you're knitting and participating or you have other people, you're like, you have, you know. Sponsors. Somebody sponsoring you, but you'd like those sponsorships to go to Team Yarnia instead of like setting up your own gotcha. site. Yeah. Right? You can share our link because, I don't know, if you don't want your name and all yeah. that. Or, if you, there, mean, you just or just you, you want to be part of a part of a bigger part group of instead yeah. of instead of doing it solo. We'll okay. uh, cool. we'll be tallying how many contributions mm -hmm. we get. We can um, say from how many states, all of yeah. that. That'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, if you're coming to knit, it's we're not going to like check contributions from people that come and sit and knit with us on Knit for Food Day. But of course, donations or getting sponsorships are encouraged. Yeah, if yeah, you're that, coming to it, sit and participate, it's the purpose. It's the purpose. Yeah. So, yeah, so definitely, yeah. <laughs> and um, I did see some places had like a minimum contribution needed to come, and right. no, you know, we're yeah, yeah, no, we we don't need to do but that. I figured but that was but, too much audit work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah, know if people know. are people are coming here to do that, they're they're going to be doing that sponsorship angle. It's it's yeah. the reason we're doing it. So yeah. cool. I was thinking right. too. We should we should um, spread the word to local like news outlets. Absolutely. Too, right? Yes. Yes. You know, to make sure yep. you know that folks in the community know. Oh, yeah. About you this know event. what? Actually, the Montclair girl has an events page now, oh, which I've been yeah. wanting to put some of our classes on. Yeah. Except they've been selling out so fast, we haven't been able to. We haven't needed to promote them. Um, <gasps> Sorry about that. But we certainly can put that, and there. Yeah. And I'm going to put your sweater class on too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and yeah, uh, the crochet one or two. Yeah, the few things that. Well, Jen's class has been moving like crazy since. I just it, put it up last weekend. Yeah. Jen has a new sweater class coming up. I do. And we had people coming in on Sunday. <laughs> I was here on Sunday to buy their yarn for Jen's sweater class, and we were like, wait, it's what? I mean, what? I what? CC'd. I know. I I sent know. Out, so I, I sent out an email with the description. Once I put up the, the class link, and then I send an email out to anyone who's taken my classes before, and I'm like, no press, here's what's next, right? And here's a link to sign up. And then some of them are very... Um, on well, it. They've been waiting. Some they've of them been, been waiting. waiting to they've been it waiting is. because I take is forever to make a decision. Is this a sweater that I want to do? If it right. is, I'm going to join now. It's a sweater that everybody's been wanting to do. Yes, uh, exactly. Oh, wow. Which I think it was an excellent choice. So Thank you. you so talk it's, about it? uh, sure, yeah. I'll talk about it. It is, um, I couldn't make a decision. <laughs> Uh, so it's technically two. Yep. It's the, I don't like um, that. That's just like the best I, of both worlds. Well, and honestly, like they have a very similar silhouette. So yes. it's the Eva cardigan and the, uh, champagne cardigan from Petite Nips. And they each have, they're two different weights. Eva cardigan is DK weight and, um, the champagne cardigan is a worsted weight. And of course it's Petite Nips and Danish and European knitters like to assemble yarns together to create a weight so you can do that or you can pick a worsted or you can pick a dk whatever, right. you, whatever you want the whole point of this is flexibility and customization and along those lines they're both um v-neck oversized cardigan sweaters eva is slightly less oversized than champagne eva has a modified set in sleeve in a dk weight with a traditional knit perpendicular the button band construction of that it looked Love it. Super pretty. Yeah. Love it. It's the I love the ones with the same too. I do too. It's a really nice fit. You can really kind of customize even an oversized sweater to your shoulders so uh -huh. it doesn't look like you're drowning. Yeah. Um and it's something different. They're both top down. It's a little some it's something a little bit different than a standard raglan, which the champagne cardigan is a standard raglan, although a very oversized very deep, fit. So very, it is yeah. written it's with 12 inches of ease. Almost like my balloon cardigan. I'm it is. Out. My balloon cardigan is now living in yarn. Yes, that's you right. Can come and try it on. Right it's here. so wearable. I'll tell you, that's what sold me on a v-neck uh -huh, cardigan because uh -huh, I'm yeah. not always a v-neck oh, cardigan. Oh, I love a v-neck cardigan. I, like, it, I think it's so flattering on almost everybody. It, it really, really is. is. And I think it's easy to wear. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the details really make the pattern. So first off, 
If you're interested in taking the class, it's on Zoom. It's on Sundays, so you can take it from farther afield, and students get um, recordings afterwards, uh, usually the Monday, because I forget until then. Um, so if you miss a week, you don't really miss it. If you it. miss a week, you don't really miss it. You get access, and you keep access to that regardless. Um, but I also think that in the past, we've done a lot of standard fitting to slightly oversized or mm -hmm. things that are customizable. And the one thing I do want to warn folks is that if you're looking for a classic fit of two to four inches of ease, these are not necessarily going to be the sweaters that you're going to want to do. You could modify the Eva, um, which is the set and sleeve DK. That's about 10 inches of ease as written. You could modify that down to about six inches of ease, but it's still designed to be oversized. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the champagne cardigan has a very deep raglan, which can be modified slightly, but it's going to have, it's not going to have the same look if you modify, if you want right. to modify it to like a zero to four inches of ease, it's not going to look right. Mm. So that's something that I would just keep in mind. There are mm -hmm. other V-neck sweater patterns, uh, V-neck cardigan patterns that are suitable for that. Um, oh, we might talk about one of those in just a sec. I was going to say. Um, <laughs> but not these two. Uh, that said, you can, the whole idea of the class is to kind of like pick and choose modifications that you want, right? How to get, you could make a plain stockinette sweater. Awesome. You could add a textured stitch panel. You could add a lace panel. You could add a cable panel. You could add stripes. You could add color tipping. You could add pockets to any of these. Um, the neat thing about the champagne cardigan is that it has a double knit vertical button band. So pretty. That is pretty. beautiful. Is it um, like this one? No. Similar to it. Did it's... you pick up stitches in the knit vertically? No. I didn't okay. Pick up. Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, that's integrated, right? Yes. Yes. So this is done after the fact where you pick up stitches and knit vertical oh, double really knitting. Cool. Lovely. Um, and you could put that on either cardigan. If you don't want to do that, and it will take a long time to do that, I'm warning everyone, um, you could do a standard perpendicular mm -hmm. button band. Mm -hmm. Like, lots of options here. You could crop it. You could make it long. You could do this. You could do that. Anything. You could change the sleeve profile to be like a balloon sleeve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... There's a lot of options, but there's also, if you just like the pattern, you can just follow the pattern. Ta-da! There you go. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, but I like to have a lot of options. And I know some people and, and, like... And that's kind of why you do the class. That's why you offer yeah. the class. So people can make something that is really what they are looking for. Yeah. And also, it's like, learn how to fit an oversized sweater so it doesn't look like you're drowning in it. Uh-huh. Yes. Right? I know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I was, like yesterday, Jen was here picking out yarn and there were a couple of other people. Yes. And, and I'll I kind show of you was, that in a little bit. I kind of was like jumping on the bag, like, mm, if I did it, what would I do? Right. And I, I'm, I'm back to not being sure because I don't really want it that oversized. And I know you did say that it basically, the way it's written, it should always be an oversized sweater. It, it really, it's, de it's very definitely the design. And you uh -huh. can make it less oversized. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Six you... inches is just. What? That's one and a half, one and on, a half each on each side. It's not that's not that, that much. Size. Yeah. Oversized. An oversized fit is considered six plus inches of ease. And uh -huh. um the Eva cardigan is written with ten. Uh huh. And the champagne is written with twelve. Uh -huh. And you can see in some of the Ravelry projects people are like, I did not realize how big it was gonna be. Uh -huh. And I'm like Twelve is a lot. She gives you all of the information that's in a the foot. pattern. That's a foot. Yeah. Six yeah. inches on either side. And it's like, you know, the whole idea is to to kind of learn to think for yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? Be mm -hmm. like, is that what I want? Do I want 12 inches of ease? Do I want 10 inches of ease? Do mm -hmm. I want 8 inches of ease? Like, what do I want? Right. Right? How do I change it to make it what I want? <laughs> but also knowing that you're not going to take, you know, a thing that is designed to be one thing and turn it into a negative eased fitted yeah. sweater. Do you know what I mean? Well, that, that there would definitely negative be error. aspects of it that would yeah. not look right given the way it was constructed and what you're trying yeah. to do. And yeah. like, could you modify it into that? Yes. But you could also just get just a pick one that's closer just, to what you want. Yeah. There, there's and and petite, if you love a petite knit, she has other patterns that are mm -hmm. slightly less oversized or more fitted that would fit that there's Be a better starting point. a bunch of Certainly. v neck yeah. cardigans there's a million v neck cardigan patterns out there um mm -hmm. so but yes, you, believe me i had 150 tabs open on my uh, computer I, i've seen them all uh, um 
within reason. <laughs> but I'm excited for it. So that's going to... Yeah, it's going to be good. Start, when did I say it's start? March it's 3rd. It's March, yeah. I was like, March 3rd. That's when it is. Cool. So, yeah. So that'll be fun. Yeah, very nice. But I like that people pick their yarn because I can't make a decision. <laughs> mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and actually, if you are from afar and you... You know, you need to pick yarn. I would encourage people to do it sooner rather than later because we may need to do special orders for some things, which we are always happy to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it just adds a little bit of time to the time it takes us before we can ship yarn to you. Yeah. So, and y'all need to swatch. Whether yes. you like it or not. Definitely swatch. Yes. <laughs> do that. Um, well, why don't we talk a little bit about what? Finished objects? Oh my gosh, I'm tangled. Yeah, I think we can talk about tangled. finished objects. Do you want to go first? That. Sure. I have three finished objects. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> They're sweaters. Oh all my right. goodness. Yeah. You've been busy. But not all three, but two of the three. So, Tana, I can talk about my oversized V next. I her. love it. It's yes. so pretty, Amanda. Yay. I love. So, yay. Um, so, I am. Uh, I'm wearing my favorite things, sweater number six, or cardigan number six. Um, yeah, by my favorite things. So that's, uh, da -da -da. and this is a oversized, it's probably got like what? 10 inches? Did I say 10? 10. That's probably like a, yeah. So that's, that's 10. Five on each side? <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. And then. It hangs really nicely. And then it's a little bit. Crop. Well, it's not really. It's really like high hip. Yeah, high hip. Um, and what I loved about this sweater was the lace pattern, mm -hmm. which looks like a cable, but it is not. It it's is so pretty. It's just lace, so I don't even have to. I didn't have to get my cable needles out. Ah, and it's just all over. Yeah, it's really nice. It's so cute. So, um, and it's got the balloon sleeves, but not like. Overly, and the reason that I Crazy. made this cardigan was because I love my balloon cardigan, and I'm totally going to make it again. Uh, I made that in the Wolfolk Tog, which is spectacular, um, but it's a little bit too much ease for me. <coughs> All over, I can't really put my arms in my coat. Yeah, that's gotcha. <laughs> it's a little too much fabric. <laughs> This, that looks spectacular. I always get compliments when I wear it. It really looks like ready to wear, you know, mm -hmm. high end. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think you bought it. It looks like it's kind of like Vince or something. Yeah. Um, Super cute. It's great. But the I used Wolfolk Tog, which was not the yarn that was called for in the pattern. Um, it is a sticky yarn. Um, and I did use the needle that was in the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't really change anything because of my gauge and my gauge was quite a bit different from the pattern. Ah, uh, okay. So even mm -hmm. though I knit the next to smallest size, mm -hmm. it is not the next to smallest size, mm -hmm. size wise. So, um, I learned from my mistake. There you go. Good. This time I it's swatched. Um, yeah. You don't like I had a Ravelry project with my swatch in there just for proof. I ripped out my swatch. <laughs> <laughs> but I took a picture of it just yep. so that everybody could see. Like, it, it happened I actually sometimes. Did swatch. Yeah. Like, see? Um, see? See? Yeah. <laughs> proof of life. Well, because again, life. I'm using a different yarn than was called for by the pattern. Yeah. So this pattern called for mohair held double. Silk mohair held double. Um, so... It is meant to be a very light and airy, uh -huh. lacy sweater. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Um, I had just finished, or was actually not even finished yet, with my um, Selena uh, uh -huh. slipover. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love the combination of the wool folk far, number 34, and the plume. And the oob color, mm -hmm. which there's one skein left, so not enough to do anything with. Or not enough to do a not sweater enough to with. Do a sweater. You can do yeah. a hat. Yeah, you totally can do a hat. Ooh, it is such so a good nice. combo. I love it so, yeah, so, so much. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Um, and and that uh, that plume is a combination of uh, alpaca, cotton, and merino. Um, so it's it's airy but matte, which mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. yeah, which is really I like it a lot. Um, and I wanted to do something else with it. That was more, I can wear this every day. Mm -hmm. um, so 
Yay! So that's just what I did with it. This is one strand of far and one strand of plume. I think uh, a, a silk mohair would be a good sub. Maybe two strands of silk mohair, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, plus a far. Or far plus cash silk white. Yeah, yeah that's something what like I was that because that's stickier too. It's stickier, it's matte, and it's a, <clears throat> it's it's poofier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's, it's similar. There's some good color combos. Yeah. The, like the caramel would go so good with that. That would be really pretty. They have a very similar kind of like muted, mm -hmm. yeah, but rich earth palette. tones type palette. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so I I swatched and the fabric that I liked was not the recommended gauge. Mm -hmm. So I had to find, I basically had to figure out like what's the diameter of my sweater going to be. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, which pattern, which pattern size was closest to the diameter of sweater I wanted to be at my yeah. gauge. Uh -huh. So this is the, I cast on for the smallest size. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, Definitely is not the smallest size measurements wise, but that's because my gauge is bigger. Um, and it's bottom up. It's top down. Top down. Nice. Yeah. So it makes it a little mm, easier love that. to sometimes. Yeah. Top down sweater. Yeah. It's a top down drop shoulder, right? Which was also made it easier to fit because yeah. it's a right. box. <laughs> that's I a straight do line. Math on a box. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. And also, it called for so. If you're if you're like I love that sweater I'm going to make it, um, it, it won't look exactly like this if you follow exactly the pattern, um, and my notes are in my Ravelry pattern, but I also took the but the collar the button band mm -hmm. off of the balloon cardigan, uh -huh. decreased it by a stitch because the gauge is different. This is a much bigger gauge, uh -huh. and applied it to this sweater because <laughs> I wanted to do an incorporated button band. Yeah not apply one afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't like a sewn on button band. It was sewn on? Or sewn picked on. up. No, sewn no. on. I don't mind picked up. Mm -hmm. No, I can do just... picked up. I could do picked up vertical. Mm -hmm. I'm just not, I'm not sewn. But integrated is so nice. It's super integrated nice. Integrated looks great. Yeah. yeah. And it's easier. It's like, you're done. When you're done, you're done. You're done. You're done. And your gauge matches. And since it's like a knit pearl base, right? It just flows straight to the knit pearls at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a nice um, clean line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did block this. Uh, like soaked it and blocked it and it's it lace. got way drapier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It got way drapier when I blocked it. It's so this. pretty. And, and these sure opened done. up and it's just and the cotton both. Yeah. Um, so but now I have a drapey cozy sweater. Yay. I love it. It's so cute. So nice. Nice so, done. Thank you. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it fits in my jacket. It still is quite a bit of fabric in the <laughs> sleeves, but mm -hmm. yeah, less than. And like the sleeve holes are a little bit smaller mm -hmm. than yeah. the balloon cardigan. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm putting my jacket on, it's not like it's, it's not way underarm. down. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the reason. <clears> I mean, balloon sleeves hurts. will always kind of like right. bulk in your jacket. That's a but sweater it's the underarm. The balloon cardigan for me, in the gauge that I knit it and the size that I knit it, is mm -hmm. definitely a firm sweater weather cardigan. Don't wear a coat over it. Yeah, yes. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's its, it's fifty its own top degrees layer. Outside, yeah. outside. And that tug is so cozy, like it's yeah. fluffy and it keeps the warmth in, so it's good for that. But um, anyway, so ta-da! Yay! Yay! My favorite things. You'll probably see this a lot um, if you come to the store because I wear a good it one. all the time. Yeah. Um, all right, you want to see finished item number two? Yes, yeah. please. So I finished this in less than a month. The sweater. Woo um, Yay, Gage! Right. I, I finished <laughs> the next one in Gage. over a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, also Wolfolk Far. Yes. That's the theme of this mm -hmm. event. Right. Um, so, I, I do love Wolfolk, as we all know. I'm, I'm sort of a fanatic. Um, I finished my Franca. Yay! Yay. Oh, oh my gosh, so that is, oh. This is uh This is my man sweater from last year that didn't get finished last year. Um, but I got hey, it's so early February. It's not so bad. Pockets. Wow. So this is Franca by uh, White Fuzzy. I'm, doing I'm sure it's like I have a dog. Well, no, but the recipient was... also has a dog, so it's cool. okay. Oh, I love the pocket detail. It is detail. gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So this is it's a black, actually very dark gray. There is one darker black in Wolfolk far, but um, I, my love does not extend that far. Yeah, yeah, so the black is hurt, definitely. Hurt so this is the second darkest 
dark gray. And like who that. doesn't love a charcoal? Actually, he can wear it with black pants, black like, top, and have the contrast. It'll be beautiful. I think it's more wearable sometimes than <laughs> yeah. true black. Yeah. yeah. That looks super cute on you, too. <laughs> it, well, yeah, we're a similar size. Um, so, yeah, so this is uh, Franca by Julie Weisenberger. It's a Coco Knits pattern. So we were talking earlier about that construction that has the modified set-in sleeves. Such a nice fit, mm -hmm. right? It yeah. has a great fit over the shoulders. So nice. Um, yeah. Every time I the fit. wear these, I'm like, I want to do another one because yeah. I really like them. Um, and then it has like this shawl, long shawl collar uh, as well. I have not blocked this. I might hit it with a steam. Yeah. Oh, that's not yeah. That no. Beautiful. It's amazing. Beautiful right? drape. Yep. Um, and the, um, I didn't make very many modifications to this at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I, it is a man sweater, so I did not d immediately start the decreases on the arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they are knit straight down to pretty much the elbow uh -huh. to accommodate muscles and then <laughs> decreases after that. Yeah. Um, I asked the recipient how long he wanted the sleeves, and mm -hmm. this is how long he wanted the sleeves. I actually knit them two different lengths. Yeah. Um, I, th I think you remember last time. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was short, and then I tried it on again later, and I was like, wait, this is a fine length. Yeah. I don't know. what. It's, it's hard sometimes. Sleeves is hard. <laughs> but, so I knit the second one two inches longer, then I put it on, and I was like, wait, now the second one's too long, and the first one seems okay. But then I went... And he tried it on again, and he liked the longer length anyway, so I was yeah. like, okay, good, cool. Good. Then I rubbed the other one back Yeah, and put it in again. Um, that's actually a good idea to, like, do two different lengths for yeah. a sweater, so uh -huh. you'd be like, which one? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Right? I was going to be sort of annoyed if he said, can you do it in between? Right. Yeah, like, that would not be Thank fun. goodness he didn't. <laughs> But at least then you can mark it on the long one, right? You're like, tell me exactly where you want it to hit, right. and you know, all right, yeah. less 10 rows. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the only other modification I made to this pattern was it was meant to be knit stocking up all the way to the end and just have like a rolled hem mm -hmm. on both the bottom and the sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, since it's a man sweater, I want it a little more substantial. So I just have garter hem. So there's I about, love it. I, mean, I love the garter great, hem. There's about 11 rows of garter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end. Yeah. Very nice. And I, I think it looks really nice. There's an I-cord on the edge and I maintain the I-cord through the garter. So Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Ta-da! Yeah, so, yeah, you basic black sweater. I won't have this next week. It's going <laughs> off, and all my ends are woven in. It's really finished, finished. Yeah, it, it looks great. All my projects this week are actually finished, finished. <laughs> wow. Not fake podcast. Not finish. almost <laughs> finished. Right. It's just where we have a few ends still. Like, tuck that end in your yep. arm underneath. Yep. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Not that. Uh, uh, so, okay. Not that we. I'm gonna no. put this one back on. Yeah. And then my next finished object was, it was very tiny. Um, <laughs> so y'all know I went to Knitting Live because it was at the end of the last podcast, mm -hmm. like eight minutes, seven minutes of uh, a little vloggy blog of what went on at Knitting Live, um, which was super fun. I took classes. I went to a lecture on Thursday um, all about uh, trends mm -hmm. and... Um, and knits both you know like runway trends as well mm -hmm. as what we're seeing and and hand knitting um and it was funny because like the pantone color of the year is peach fuzz yeah and i was knitting on this sweater i was finishing an arm and i'm like, <laughs> like yeah. oh hello i oh. am on trend <laughs> <laughs> this is slightly lighter than peach fuzz but like that warm definitely in the family peachy pink it's definitely in the, in the family yes yeah. We're all about being cozy and warm in 2024 yeah. um, mm -hmm. with our peach fuzz. So, uh, so that was great on Thursday. And then Friday, I had three classes. Um, and my very first one was with Detroit Knots. Um, and I learned to knit and crochet. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, continuing my learning, I made a little... Tunisian crochet heart. Cute, so very cute. cute. So this is a pattern. I'm going to tell you the name because um, I actually just made this um, yesterday. 
Uh, it's a very fast, fun little project. I'm gonna bring it up and show you too. And uh, where's my Ravelry? I put it up. Did I bring it up on yours? No, you brought it up on I yours. I brought it up on mine, of course. And you should Ravelry. Me. And I was like, oh my god, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I search Rav, Google shows me Chief's Raven score. I'm and like, I don't care. care. Am I? Anyway, I have a link to Ravelry on my home screen of my phone. It's, yeah, it's, it's frequently it's frequently enough that it's just like, are you looking for this? I'm like, yes. I would love Ravelry yeah, to I have a widget it. that has what's the top right now thing. Oh yeah, that would be super handy right for now. us. Yeah. Anyway, Joy Clements um, created these. She had apparently a little Advent crochet um, series, but this little heart was so popular that she released it as her, its own pattern. Um, my Tunisian crochet, I'm a new Tunisian crocheter. I just learned week before last. So I have a little loosey goosey heart here on like, there's a loosey goosey hole on each side. Um, because my tension's not perfect yet. Hey, you just learned it. I just learned it. Yeah. Um, but it's Chad's birthday today. Oh, the day we're taping. Happy so, birthday, Chad. Yeah. So I made him a little purple heart. I mean, how That's one that? of our emojis that we use when Aww. we chat back and forth to each other. The purple heart. The purple Aww. heart. Yeah. That's so cute. I feel like you could also put a little face on that guy. Yeah. Like oh, the yeah. little shells are such perfect eyes. You could just be like, a little yeah, mouth. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> we, uh, I added the little hanger because I thought that would be. Yeah. It makes it more functional. For that her. would also be super cute to do them as like a little garland. Right. Yes. Totally. Oh my goodness. And I have to say, so the pattern is great. Um, it, she has a, so when you buy the pattern, um, which is a, it's like three dollars to buy the pattern. Mm -hmm. There's a link inside the pattern to a video tutorial, which literally goes step by step. If you've nice. never Tunisian crocheted before, this is Tunisian simple stitch, um, which is like the first basic stitch you learn. Mm -hmm. And you could totally watch her videos and learn Tunisian simple Pick stitch. Nice. Yeah, especially if you have like prior crochet experience. Uh -huh. So <laughs> it's fun. So Very here's cute. my little um, thing. See, so yeah, this is our crochet out of Kelborn Woolens. So I, this is what I took to Vogue or Knitting Live uh -huh. as my practice yarn. And it's good. solid. I took uh, to, to Knitting Live, I took one of our Chiaogu Tunisian crochet hooks. Uh -huh. Nice. So when you um, work Tunisian crochet, you work in a size larger than the recommended gauge for your yarn. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so this yarn would normally call, it's a worsted weight, it would normally call for a G through an I hook um, for a worsted weight yarn in the Kelburn Wollens Germantown, and I used a J hook. Mm -hmm. So you use uh, about a millimeter larger hook size than is called for by your yarn. Um, uh, I have to say, we carry Chagu hooks. I, mm -hmm. it, this, here, twist it. You can feel the cord like this. There are or not that, drop it. There are not that many open stock options for Tunisian crochet hooks, by the way. Oh, but you see, it does like, it spirals? It's a little sticky, and it was bugging me when I was working with it. Oh, the cord sticky? Yeah, yeah. I like the. It grabs. Oh yeah. A little it, bit. Uh huh. So, okay. when, but when I was here on. Sunday, I splurged for myself. I got myself the new Lucca Tunisian crochet set. Oh, Ooh. nice. I didn't even know they had come in. They came in. We have just a couple more, but if you guys are interested, we can order more. You can always get more. A, I have never gotten a crochet hook set for myself, so mm -hmm. I don't have a complete set. And okay. if you get a Tunisian set, you can use these as regular crochet hooks. I was going to say, you yeah, can for just sure. use that like a regular yeah. crochet hook. Yeah, so yeah. And actually, yeah. Um, yeah, these little personal. hearts, you don't even need the cords. Um, yeah, cause you yeah. only need this if you're putting a lot yeah, of stitches on. on. Uh -huh. Yeah. And this one only has at most seven stitches. So it stays yeah. on your hook. Uh -huh. um, shaft, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. but so I got that's this, it goes so all the funny. way from an E to a P hook. <gasps> mm -hmm. So that's from three and a half millimeters to 11 and a half millimeters. Mm -hmm. That's probably all the crochet hooks. Well, that's not true. I'll need some. You'll need some ones smaller for, ones. Yeah. For just. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the cords on this one, mm -hmm. I did put a cord on because I didn't know how I'm new about this. I didn't know if I would need one. The cords on this one, they have the new 
Oh, oh I mean, the, we know those. Oh, well, yes, I love see. these cords. It's very flexible. They're that, very flexible. Like, don't they feel good? Like, yeah. And I put it on with Jesus. a stopper. Oh my goodness. This cord, it felt. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Chagu. <laughs> Have we saw that? And they're the twisty ones. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was so much more comfortable. With the Chagu, you can just get one. Yes. Right? And if I'm just starting out this craft, I'm just going to get one. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's right. see if you like it. But yeah. I do like it. And so. Now I'm going to get the more comfortable. Well, and, and also if you're, I mean, the, the, having the entire set as, as crochet hooks as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Having that, like, if you're like, all right, I crochet and I'm going to do Tunisian crochet. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to get the set. Cause then you're like, I'm never without the crochet hook. I need. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it comes in the case. I like the case. I do too. That's and really handy. Obviously they're Lucka. So if you have the, interchangeable knitting cords. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. The, the same, same cords. Cord. Very um, nice. Yeah, the newest versions of those same cords are in but the the yeah, so, but they're all I mean I've got like every single possible length I think. Yeah. In the in my liquor stash. Yeah. Um, and do they just use the same end caps that they use for the knitting They needles, have two or? different kinds actually. Oh, interesting. So they have they do have which is what I used yesterday. They have like the standard end caps. Uh -huh. Okay. Right, but then they also have, I guess, these Tunisian caps. Oh, cool! As well, like a little mm -hmm. more of a smaller blocky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which maybe I'm speculating. And if you're experienced at Tunisian crochet, here I'll show you what these caps look like. Versus, right? Like they've got these kind of caps, four of those, as well as these standard caps. I wonder if you put these at the end of a crochet hook if you're using it just the shaft you know what i mean so your stitches don't come so you off could just end. yeah oh there you go so yeah. you don't have to worry about yeah i bet you could that's mm -hmm. my speculation but an experienced so. tunisian crocheter can comment below we'll sit there Ta -da. Yes, we'll tell you but cool. anyway so i tried these out and i totally recommend these um nice i don't unrecommend the chagu i used it it's just not i don't it's not my fave and mm -hmm. yeah it well, wasn't the most comfortable for me. Try them out and when you're trying out the craft because... Yeah. And it certainly was cheaper to get one and try it. Than yes, yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. <laughs> that and was then my... also you can still There's use the Tunisian a... crochet hook as you would, like, if you're a knitter, you can still yeah. use it like a crochet hook. Yes. Like if you mm -hmm. need to hook up stitches or whatever. So, mm -hmm. like... That's yeah. kind of cool. Cute. Oh, my oh, snap spell. So that, those, those are my finished objects. A large <laughs> and small. Nice. Long term and extremely short term. <laughs> and you're like, and in an hour. Oh yeah. I finished two of these in an hour. Nice. nice. All right, cool. All right. right. That's my finished object. Yeah. I only have one I finished object. Cause did I show my socks last time? Um, I did. I did finish those socks. socks. I don't know if you did another one. Did no, I, have... I finished the pair that I was working on. So, well, I would bring them, but they're at home. <laughs> for God. I would bring them, but I didn't. I would bring them, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so I have the Hobbiton vest oh, from so Fable Knitwear. Um, I have to bl it's blocked, but I have to block it a little bit wider at the hip slash not so as much cute. of an oversized white shirt. Yeah. I think. I don't wear I a lot of button downs. No, I, I no. used to. I, yeah, I came in today and I was like, "Oh my gosh, you look so cute in a button down." Yeah, um, it's funny because it's like it's one of those outfits that I kind of tend to fidget with, depending. Uh -huh. And it's like I think that I would totally wear this also over like a uh, like totally copying your yeah. outfit, like the denim shirt. And that denim so shirt copy. fits me is is a little bit less oversized than this white shirt, mm -hmm. and I think that that'll. Mm -hmm. That'll be, be really next. But then I was like, oh my God, what if I come in in that outfit and Amanda's wearing this? <laughs> and I'm like, and we didn't even text to twin today. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like this pattern. I think it was, it was, this is me being insane where I'm like, oh my gosh, thank God I'm done with the one by one rib on the bottom. Forgetting that yeah. it's seed stitched. So the whole thing is one by one. Basically one by one. one, by one. Yeah. And I was like, Wah. but it went super quick. Um, very well written pattern. Uh, it is a fake cardigan. So this button band mm -hmm. is picked up after the fact. I love that. The whole thing is knit in the round. So fun. Picked up after the fact. It I means your girls up... are never gapping. Exactly. And I was yeah. like, 
why would I Much ever unbutton this vest anyway? Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, that's so smart. Yeah, it's so, so smart. So thoughtful. Um, it was a pain in the ass to pick up into the front. I'll tell you that. Um, I was also doing it while I was watching TV. So that always makes it a little harder. Oh, it doesn't help. <laughs> and it was kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so is the pain in the ass user error mm -hmm. by making the choices I did by doing it at night while watching a murder mystery Shetland, which love oh, it. Love oh, Shetland. love Shetland. Love it. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, and half paying attention. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't difficult it just wasn't the easiest thing yeah. um i did pick up a little bit too many for the fabric done here so you can see it ripples a little mm. bit but i just i tacked it yeah. i'm gonna tack it down um and when i tack it down like the flap overlaps like this so i'm not gonna tack it down like sew the edge of the flap down i'm gonna go in one stitch so it uh -huh. still looks like a card looks like there's a flap it's just not happening yeah um nice. but i really liked her design it was super easy um and I did it in Fredericksburg by something farm. This is yarn that I deep stash, deep stash from like first trip ever to Rhinebeck. Wow. Um, and your, her yardage counts are pretty accurate. I had like 660 yards or something like that. And I probably have, but I do love the way this, works with the variegated it right looks it's almost beautiful like a it looks so tweed. nice yes. yeah and that's yeah. what i really and it, i had two different dye locks essentially of a hand dyed it, batches, they're not really two different batches of hand dyed yarn and one was darker and more of the pink mm -hmm. and the dark the 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 darker kind of maroon color and the other one was more gray pink and teal mm -hmm. and so i alternated skeins you blended and it beautifully it looks so good because it was in the round too i was able to do it all helical mm -hmm. um and i only had to do the back and forth up there on the straps um yeah. the one thing that i did do she has you and i understand why she has you do it she has you instead of doing decreases she has you bind off one stitch at the beginning of each row uh -huh. in seed stitch um which is fine i just changed it to decreases because that's my and keeping mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. stitch as a selvage stitch mm -hmm. to make it easier to pick up the neck mm -hmm. um it would have been fine either way um and i understand why she made the choice to do the bind off uh, instead of the decreases, because I also think that describing keeping it in pattern in yeah. the pattern would have been so much more complicated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for her. Um, but that is such a really good tip, actually. I, like, I like the idea of, because I hate that stair steppy thing. Yeah, I hate the stair steppy thing. I like a selvage stitch yes. in stockinette. Um, it's easier to pick up into it. That's so much easier. Yeah, and I can see edge. where I was going. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I know I have a smooth stockinette line, Yeah, and then I have the bumpy seed stitch so i'm like if i just pick up and that smooth line goes away then i'm exactly and i'm where on I need target yeah um nice so yeah so it's super cute i think it'll look i could wear it over a dress too mm -hmm. um that's really fun yeah so it's just and that was super quick you were, it was super you quick just it started was, it last episode right? it was like a week and change yeah that's nice. just so fast i mean honestly yeah. it was existing longer finished before I put on the buttons than it was existing <laughs> unfinished. Cause I did the button band and I was like, cool. Oh look, I have some buttons. And then I carried around for a week and then I sewed the buttons on. Wow. Again, hey, that's still, still good. You still, that's classic. Jen. That's classic. Yep. Me. There's yep. a sweater I have that sat around for a full year with the buttons sitting on top of it on my desk <laughs> in the kitchen before I sewed yeah. them on. I've done the same. I don't know what, like, that is so close to some kind of weird procrastination. It is, where I'm like, oh, I have to sew on the button. Well, and also, I hate placing buttons. Why? I don't know. I just hate it. I want it to be even and perfect. And never <laughs> even and perfect. And that takes It's always time. like an eighth of an inch off, and I'm like, come on. Yeah, just because of the size of stitches and this stuff. Was, this was easier to place, I have to say, because I could do it completely independently of buttonholes. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. It's more when you have buttons to like, worry I'm about. I'm just gonna lay it flat. Like, <clears throat> yeah, go for that. Uh, so that's really my only finished object. Cool. I have it's a good one. Oh yeah, yeah. Just really, we kind of match a little. We do bit. kind of match. Yeah. We coordinate. Yeah. We all blend. We blend. We do. We're in the we pinky do. Tones. Yeah. So I'm always in the. Pinky You're always in the pinky tones. Are we getting more into the pinky tones? I know. Yeah. 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 You're oh. getting to peach fuzz. <laughs> I won't be a peach fuzz. 
<laughs> Peach fuzz is gonna make me look like I'm dead. <laughs> so warm and cozy. I will look warm makes me look like a corpse. <laughs> Cool oh, towns. A warm corpse. <laughs> no, a dead Ew. corpse. <laughs> it makes me look gray. Warm tones make me look gray. Put me in orange and I look like I just threw up. Uh, I look dead. That actually... Cool may, winter. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Maybe one of these days we will get to... That was one of the uh, opinion questions that somebody asked about mm -hmm. picking your color. So w one day we'll do it. We'll do a thing on that. But today is not that day. Today is not that day. But, um, because we do have another question picked out. What are your finished but, objects? Yeah, so I have two finished objects. One of them I am wearing. I actually, um, I finished my third Sophie shawl, Love which it. is definitely, you know, with the yarn I used and everything, it is much more like a scarf. Um, but it is the Sophie shawl pattern. Oh, I like them. So this was inspired so by... Did you, just, did you just finish this? I did. I just <gasps> finished it a couple of nights ago and I blue oh, locked it last night. I love it. We should see if mine is a lot longer than your sample that's over there. It probably is. It probably when, is. When, especially when I knit I garter, it. I'm even looser than I am normally. There's yeah. something about the way I go into the knit stitches when they look like pearl bumps that I, I... It really... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but I it's like it. It's definitely longer than mine. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe how long it got when I blocked it. And, um... I like it. Oh, hold on. Special oh, delivery. Oh, Speedy delivery. delivery. Speedy delivery. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is so knitted cute. with, um, Summer, Summer Slubbin. Summer Slubbin. In the French court colorway. Love. Isn't this so pretty? Such <laughs> a pretty yarn. color. Oh. Yeah. We, we should, we should reorder this. Absolutely. As, as we get such a summer. cute t-shirt. Oh my gosh, that Wouldn't would it? make such a cute t-shirt. Well, I remember Vivian made a really cute one last year. Like yeah. there were definitely, I would definitely I need to work it on a smaller this needle. Court? This is French court. French court is a really pretty color. It's beautiful. I love all the different little, and I think it matches this okay. It looks so it good in my dressing room when I had the stuff laid out. It did. I don't know. It's fine. I, I think it matches. I'm very, very nicely. Precise about. I think it colors. goes. You know what? It doesn't match. It, it coordinates. Goes. It, goes. it coordinates. Yeah. It coordinates. But literally, the the kind of brownie whatever mm -hmm. looked exactly the same as this color the little when pops. I had it laid out. So, anyway, so this uh, was. If a, we all look blue. It's to accommodate the change in tone so that it matches. The pops match exactly. If yeah. I just no problem. If I blue. change the temperature of the color on uh -huh. the video. Then it could, just, it could all match. Well, maybe we could go through real life like that. <laughs> like, change the temperature on my face, and then I can wear orange. That's right. <laughs> Except it will look orange. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I have no problem with that. Ooh. So, um, so cute. I have been just, like, working through, like, little projects that have been hanging around. Yeah, it's, perfect. like, starting starting the finish of February flow. flow. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I've got two sweaters off the needle. I'm so happy. Yeah. But the other thing I finished, which I'm really happy with, and this is... The first time I've knit a sweater for someone else in a, you know, in a relatively, I don't even know exactly when I started, but a relatively short time. Yeah. Wasn't finished that jeans long sweater. <gasps> da -da -da. Yay! Oh Yay! my goodness. It's so pretty. Uh, I'm so I'm happy with oh it. Oh my goodness. Can you go? We have three finished sweaters? Four? Do you include the best? Nike. Yeah. Isn't that? What? So this is the Pemberton okay. pullover. Oh, I have to bring it up. I so it nice. Up. Bobby Intfeld. And it was so funny. Oh, I like, you know, again, we were talking about the pearl strings earlier. With that. the pearl strings, I had to try it on multiple times, you know. I made the body too long originally. I pulled it back. All of that. Um, also, I had plenty of yarn. I used like 6.1 skeins of Atlantic in this. Yeah. Isn't wow. that less than a skein per sleeve, which really surprised me. I actually, I probably yeah. wound, I don't know. I, I did wind up breaking into that seventh skein, um, which I'm sure I would have. Which I, is fine. So does not... he, he needs a matching hat. I know exactly. I have. I do have almost. I was going to say keep off. it for repairs because oh, yeah. you want. I'll, to... I'll keep a little for repairs, like I didn't on his Felix, which right. is yeah needing a repair now. But at least you can get because he wears that, hard. At least you can get yeah. that yarn again. You'll never be able to get that again. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Um, so the main thing that I did differently than the pattern in this is that I did not do a separate sleeve and sew it in. I picked up um, around yes. the armhole, and this also I sense. kind of picked up and then pulled back and. All of that, but look how nice they look. It looks yeah. beautiful, and, and he was sense. he was so worried though. He's like he's like it's a little tight, it's a little tight. I said yes, that's because it's gonna grow when I block it. It'll it's like okay. he tried it on last night. Um, he would not let me take a picture because he's quite scruffy. He hasn't shaved in a few days. Aww. 
Um, but it, it fits really, really nicely. So I was like, oh, just I, send me one before Thursday. I love. I will. I will. The, I will we'll I take love it. that Gansey we'll style. Love, love all the, the man models. The per knit pearl combo at the yoke. I feel like that's it's such so, a nice, flattering. It 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 just yeah. Just it's simple, but it looks it looks really good. I'm Classic. I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Um, it looked really nice on him, yeah. and yeah. So it was. And honestly, it's like I think with drop shoulder sleeves like that or even set in sleeves like that it's so much easier and you get a nicer tidier seam if you're just yeah. if your sleeve is stuck in that to just do it top down oh yeah mm -hmm. right you yeah. still get the structure of the seam yeah mm -hmm. right because like you're picking up stitches and mm -hmm. that's the structure but you get mm -hmm. less bulk you get less like yeah, yeah. there's I, less possibility for a janky Mm -hmm. I, I, I hate setting in sleeves. I, well, I just I feel like whenever you sew them in, no matter how careful a job you do, they never look as good. They no. really don't. They don't. Don't look as good. Yeah. And, my, and this is such a nice clean line. Your which one? My dad's sweater sleeves look. Yes, good. your dad's sweater yeah. sleeves look. Good. I know, but this it, I love seaming. It's also so easy. Yeah. It's just, it's just so, so easy easier. to yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd much rather just do it and then go and even with the, like the the second sleeve I did in like two days. Because yeah. the first sleeve was when I was figuring out the decreases because I did them completely differently from the pattern. Yeah. I really had nothing to go by. Um, and also the sleeves on the sweater, as it's written, are very, they're wide and they're long. Like if you look at yeah. them on the models, the, it's the same sweater on a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And on the female model, they actually have the sleeves like cuffed. Yeah. Oh, like so full, full length. And, uh, she's she wanted a know. much more traditional, you know, traditional, traditional cuff and whatever. Yeah. So... Yeah, so I am super happy with it. It actually is done in time for him to wear it for cold weather. That's perfect. He'll have to wear it when we go out to dinner for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yes, there you go. yeah, That's right perfect. color. Yeah, so. I saw him walking the dog the other day, and I was like, I know that hat. <laughs> I like, saw him, like, from afar. I was uh -huh. coming down watching, and uh, he yeah. was crossing the street, and I'm like, I absolutely know that. Yep, huh? yep. And it was the uh, orange and gray. Yep. Yeah. He, and I was that, like, that's, that's Jean. That's his new daily hat. Yeah. It looks so cute. I was like, oh. Well, I saw Jonathan this morning. I said, I know that dog. Yeah, you know that dog. Yeah, I know that George. He's wearing a dog, a dark hat, I'm sure. Uh, and his yeah. little pea coat. I saw him from behind, but I knew the dog. And you're like, mm -hmm. he looks like a Muppet. Yeah, so, some, some people. <laughs> he looks yeah. like a Muppet, and he still has his leg shaved from when he got snipped. The um, dog looks like a Muppet. <laughs> the Muppet. Not Jonathan. I mean, <laughs> he could look like a Muppet. <laughs> Have you guys Depends. watched Lessons in Chemistry? No, not yet. That's next. I feel list. like I feel like um, George looks like the dog in that quite a bit. He I've really seen does. pictures. Yeah, of, yes, yeah, he does. And he's he's more of a like a like a cocoa-y kind of yes. brown. The dog's a little lighter, but it's just the shape and everything. The shape and, and just kind of, yeah. what's this? Lessons in chemistry? lessons in chemistry. It's so good. It's, oh my God. Um, what is it? Brie is it? Larson. Yeah. And it's based on the book, uh, and she's a. Uh, a scientist, a chemist, yeah, yeah, scientist. yeah. In the late 1950s and early 60s. Is yeah. it a TV series? Or yes, I want to say it it's on? on Hulu. Yes, it must. I want to say it's on um, Hulu. It's on something that we got recently, so it probably is Hulu. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's on Hulu. Yeah, cool. Um, but it is, it is so well done, and I, I watched like two and a third episodes last night. <laughs> Um, I have two, two, two more left. So I'm waiting for Bridgerton. It's oh. on our calendar. Like there is a when it a when is the new episode? There's the new series. Oh, June. The Nicola, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, yes, Penny season. Yes, Penny season. Love Penny. It's gonna be so good. Um, Which yeah, one we is still. Penny again? Sorry. Penny is the blonde who was in Dairy Girls. Okay. Oh yes, yes, love yes. Dairy Girls. Lo oh my God, love Dairy Girls. Love Dairy Girls. Yeah. Um, Nicola Coughlin. Uh, is the actress. Yes, I, yes. We're, yeah, we're at the moment, we are working through Shetland, <laughs> waiting for the Mandy Patinkin murder series on Hulu to like build up a couple of weeks. Uh huh, yeah. Because I'm like, it's we so watched much better the first when you three, can watch and then I'm like, a couple at a time. Oh, now yeah. I gotta wait. Um, and then Lessons in Chemistry, and Jonathan doesn't care about Bridgerton. Then we gotta mm -hmm. find something else. Todd mm -hmm. doesn't care about Bridgerton either, but it's you're like, guess what? You're gonna be watching. <laughs> no, he's not gonna be watching it. You're, it's just, gonna be on in the yeah, background. Yeah, I'm. I'm he watching just, Lessons in Chemistry while Jean's watching something else. Either. But um, <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It, so Shetland is on Britbox, right? Isn't Shetland's on Britbox. So we had we had Britbox in the fall, and we caught up on a bunch of things and. I don't know, Gene is really funny about like not having too many streaming services at once. It really does drive him crazy that we're paying for these things that don't get used, all this. Yes. It turns out yeah. somehow 
Somehow we had two Britpop <gasps> subscriptions at the same time. Oh no, that would make you nuts. Which you can imagine oh, really Gene was like, what? We have It's like, Gene, it's six dollars a month, calm down. <laughs> we have it. That's one thing that we need to do is go through all of our subscriptions. Yeah. Because I know Beth has some. I have some. Uh -huh. have some. I know yeah. we have overlap. Well, and if you so. have, like, for a while, like, I, I did this a couple of months ago where I'm like, okay, we get Peacock through Xfinity, we get our internet through yeah. Xfinity, we get this through this, I'm like, we don't need a separate Peacock subscription. Right, right, yeah. Um, and I just con made sure and consolidated, and then there's stuff that we get through Verizon, and there's exactly. stuff we get through this, and I'm like, oh my god, we gotta simplify it. Um... But I already did that, so we're good. Also, so all we, kids, but we just have everything. All of my kids in all the places yeah. are on my account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I can't. Though Netflix like, really has, Netflix has is, cut is, back is, a lot, is, right, on people being able to do that. I, don't, I yeah. think Haley still can watch ours. She hasn't said she's had problems. Yeah, mine but, only watch ours. I think it depends on how far. It is. <clears throat> but anyway, so we had, you know, we had these two bread box subscriptions. So he sent, spent who knows how long on the phone one day I'm trying to get all of this. The See, exactly. Okay. So, um, so basically, and I'm not, I'm still not quite sure how we wound up double subscribing. I think yeah. one time, like, it logged us out, and when we tried to log back in, it actually created a second subscription. Oh. So, you know, he got one of them, like, refunded for one month or whatever, but basically, they couldn't tell him when he was on the phone, they couldn't tell them which one was going to be canceled. A surprise! <laughs> so, so basically, they're like, well, you know. You're watching this, stream might be gone. So basically they he wound up canceling both of them and then we had to resubscribe. Oh my gosh. But we didn't and like we didn't know what the dates was. Shetland was already finished and we could have watched it, but oh. then like we went to watch it on, I don't know, January tenth or something, and they were both gone at that point. Ah But we had subscribed to something else, so now we have to oh. wait till like we're done with something before. Thanks. So we have like the last two episodes of Shetland still to watch. We just toggle but I mean between So silly. Us and the boys and like Jonathan's specific things and my specific thing as like we just have it all and I'm like whatever yeah, yeah. well I I have considering my considering it the cost of doing business yeah I have I have my audible every month which in some ways is that's like sixteen dollars a month now or something but it's oh, still only audible. still only for one credit but yeah. I bank them like if there's nothing yeah. I want to listen to I bank them and I still oh, yeah. I have like a year's worth of credits oh, at nice. this point so. Or like 12 credits still. Yeah. So when I get on a, a tear with a, a new series, I can just go ahead and download, download, download it. Yeah. Pay any extra. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I just use Libby for audiobooks, which, I mean, for what I use. It for. I, I should. I mean, they, they I, I did that for a long time, but then a lot of times what my book group had, like, it wasn't available in time. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're reading so, a specific, if you have, yeah. like, a book group that you're doing yeah. that for, then you yeah. need to be like, oh, no, I need that. I and also, I have things I, I listen to more than once. Like, yeah. like I'll listen to Outlander. Like, when there's nothing new I want to listen to, I'll just listen to all of Outlander, yeah. which is so fun. Well, let's hop to whips. Yes. As we digress. To... I was about to say, y'all can with our service. not that was, the reader in this. That was a good... Uh, all fall blue. I mean, honestly, I it, let's 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 be real. I told Jonathan like we're never getting rid of Peacock because I am watching every single Real Housewives show on Bravo. Huh. So <laughs> we don't get rid of Heads Peacock up. because soccer. Well, and yeah, and then he, I was like, see, now we can never get rid of it because I was watching soccer. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'm like, that's where Premier League is. But he needs to watch it on a different thing than I'm like. You are messing up my like my list, and I cannot find Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What are you doing? They today? don't have different logins per person with that. Um, no, there are different accounts. Uh -huh. So, but I'm the main account holder. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, that's where all my crappy turn on shows the TV are. Yeah. And it's whatever's on yeah. is what they're watching. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I'm like, stop ruining my algorithm. <laughs> you're, I'm you're cultivating. Stuff I don't care about. Oh. I'm cultivating the trashy reality shows, people. <laughs> I took YouTube off of all of our TVs because. Smart. Oh, the, we don't have none We totally support YouTube content creators. Obviously, yes. there's a lot of trash for kids on YouTube. Yes, yes. There's a lot of trash, and I would just like walk in the room and I'd be like, "What are you? What are watching? you watching?" <laughs> I'm just gonna come back to Custodio, yeah, as a fantastic way to limit your child or yes, significant well, others or your also YouTube content. Yeah, deleting YouTube from all devices in the house. That yeah. was my solution. I mean, obviously, except for my phone, my computer, which is how I watch my right, podcast. That's how we watch it. Mm -hmm. but, but like, if you're under eighteen, you're gonna. No. It's just bad. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, when they used to watch a lot of YouTube, then my stream, mm -hmm. my yes. suggested videos, 
was so bizarre probably You're like i don't need this weird children's song i would like to get my needles at the ready podcast yes yeah, exactly yes yeah, like exactly. why are you interrupting the flow of my crafting <laughs> You're always, yeah, with your you know not sharon lois and bram which shows how old i am right um although i do have to say i don't mind a pokey tips mic I like Pokey Tips Mike, and I like Zelda Trainer. I, but, yeah. well, no, I, I mean, if you want to, if you want to look up your cheat codes, well, that's yeah. what I use to get you for. I used to, um, when I was doing Animal Crossing, I would watch Channel oh. Crossing. That was a good yeah, one. They were totally. so good, but they have totally fallen way off the bottom of the page. You know, everyone in my house is an adult, so it's like, yes. we're, you know, we all have our own logins. We all use our own logins. Someday, <laughs> you know, one day that'll happen, mm -hmm. and they'll still use my Bravo account and. Well, be like, dude, I just want to watch Traitors and Real Housewives in Peace. <laughs> All right. So. Whips. Whips. You want me to start with whips? Yes. I have I have a lot of weird, like, half finished and half half abandoned and whatever. That's what Finish in February is for. That's what Finish in February exactly. is for. You're setting up your Finish in February. I certainly am. So, um, why don't I, the first one, why don't I talk about what I've been working on while we've been sitting here chatting? Because yes. this is my goal for Finish in February. So I started the Ariana Cardigan by Amy Christoffers a while ago. Yes. I put it on hold actually last summer. Like I knew I wasn't going to finish it while it was cold enough to wear last year. Yep. So I put it on hold and then sort of forgot about it. <laughs> it was one of those in, in the in the black hole of whips. Um, so this is what my squares are going to look like. I played around with the placement a lot, but um, you want to go ahead and bring it sure. up? It's probably yeah. a little far. So and this started out with being scraps that I had used um, in different, it's, it's all Lucky Tweed, Kelburn Lucky Tweed. It started out being scraps that I had used in other projects. And then, you know, I have a palette. So basically I was using things for my palette. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I counted the other night and at the gauge that I'm making it, I'm going to make the smaller size, but it's going to be somewhere between the bigger size and the smaller size okay. when it's done. Um, I will probably have to figure out some of the ribbing on my own, which is okay. I can do that. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but basically, I need 46, I believe, of these squares. Okay. Maybe 44, maybe 42. Anyway, the number, I have the numbers at home. I had 30 completely done. <gasps> oh, so you're 30 close. 30 completely done. I had, I need 14 of the half triangles. Those I finished the other night. Okay. Um, those are... Or they're at least done through three or four rounds. They're, they're close to done. So what I decided was I was just going to make the rest, like, one more set. It, yeah, it must be. I had I had 30 that were completely done. Mm -hmm. um, and then I needed to do 12 more to get to the 42. Right. So that's what I've been working on. So I just, Yay. and I do it round by round. I just do all the all the first round, all the second round. And I, I started with um, just 12 of the first rounds. I've done all the second rounds, wove in all my ends, and I'm, I've got two rounds nice. done. It's, if you do it in this methodical way, I feel yeah. like it goes so fast. Yeah. It really does. Well, and also, then you know, you don't have to count again. You're like, exactly. I need 12 more. I made 12 centers. And exactly. And I keep them on my little hook here so that they're so kind of, so as they're done, they're contained. The other thing I love to do when I'm doing something like this with a different round for each, a different color for each round, mm -hmm. I just... Um, move it along by one quarter turn each time so that the um, squares yes. don't skew. Stagger your I, I stagger them, but I always I can tell when I put it back on after weaving in the end. I put them all on the the corner where it should start. So when I pick oh. it off, it's like oh ready goodness. to go. You're so it's the planning ahead but to make save time later. It, it, sa it saves exactly, and it makes them it makes them better in the long run. It's easy enough to do. You need to put it on somewhere, so you might as well put it yeah. on where where you're gonna <laughs> pick it up from, right? Yeah. So. Um, and I really do like I I crochet over my first end and then I just weave the second end in um, yeah. when I finish the whole group of twelve or ten or whatever number I'm doing at the time. So so yeah, I'm gonna keep working on these and um, hopefully we'll have maybe maybe by next episode, but certainly by the end of February, I hope to have the whole cardigan done. Yeah. So I do need to pick up some more yarn, which we now have all of that in stock. So my next one is um, is something that I think is going to be an abandoned whip. I think uh, this is going to be frogged. And um, so, you know, last time our question was, what do you pick first, yarn or pattern? Yeah. I, I, I think I have reminded myself that one reason I usually pick pattern first is because then I don't make bad choices as often. <laughs> When there's a yarn, try to shoehorn something. I I am okay. such a bad shoehorner. Yep, oh, yeah. I will try to. So um, I really wanted to use Cardo. <laughs> the speed of our 
podcasting might get faster because we're hungry. <laughs> hungry. Um, so I wanted a replace, or not a replacement, an another Carbethy kind of sweater right. in my collection of things like that. And I said, hmm, Cardo would be beautiful to use in that, it but it really is too heavy. This is meant to be. Uh, my favorite thing, sweater number nine, is meant to be light and lofty like yeah. Amanda's cardigan. Nice. Well, and this is even heavier than uh -huh, sweater uh -huh. number six is supposed to be. So, um, so I have now, I'm either on my third or fourth skein, and I actually tried it on. <laughs> and it is indeed like a suit of armor, oh. which is a little bit what I was worried about. So I think yeah. this is going to be abandoned. Let me see. Um, and it was funny. It was what... Oh, uh dent. Somebody, somebody nice. made a comment, um, and you know, it's on gauge basically. It's 14 stitches yeah. over four inches. It is what but it's... to get, to get this yarn and it's, you know, it's written for bulky, right. but it's meant for a really lofty, for bulky, an airy bulky, an airy bulky. And like, Cardo like is loft? nice and substantial. Like loft. Like loft, oh, yeah. loft nice. Or, or like a, a worsted held with a fluffy something. Yep, exactly. Like, Probably so, held double. So mm -hmm. that that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking about yeah. doing now because I really I do want a sweater with this kind of silhouette. Yeah. This is clearly not the right yarn for it. Would you it. make another carbon? Because like I, this I think would be great for a carbon. I I suppose I could. You could. I could. <gasps> there is that. There's something. I mean, because I feel like. But I think carbon is the same I'm gauge. Like but I think it's the same gauge. So if it's still 14 stitches to the inch, it's still. It just feels too dense. Do you know what I want? It feels like you're gonna be like the kid in uh, a Christmas story who can't put his arms. Yeah, down. exactly. Do you know what I want in Cardo? Which what? I, I keep starting sweaters. And I'm, <laughs> I have not started a Cardo sweater because I'm like I can't do it. Um, I want a negative ease ribbed sweater uh -huh. with modified seven sleeves, all ribbed, uh -huh. two by two rib, That'd whole thing. Right, scoop neck. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's what I want. I couldn't find a pattern on yeah. my searches. It has to exist. But in that gauge, in that Look specific Look at skin here. No. No, because she I likes just... a scoop neck and she likes a set in. But not negative ease. Yeah. And ribbed all the way around. Not I could ribbed. just do it. You, you could, could just do it. do it. You could do it. It's not that far. Amanda's becoming a pattern designer. She is. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll talk about that yeah, in a minute. Is. Yeah, just like so... our multi-session workshops that are classic. But it was cute. One of the uh, one of the folks who commented last time we were asking pattern or yarn, it was like, yeah, when when pattern and yarn don't make a baby, which I think Jana from Knit Together with Kim and Jana is yeah. the one who heard say that mouth. This pattern and yarn did not make a baby, so no. we are going back to the drawing board on that. Go and that's back. partly why I finished this because it was like I got far enough. Yeah, and I was like, like, this is this is not gonna knit on pause. It's yeah, it is not viable. So, um, but one thing I did do. So this is a whip to be basically. Um, for Amanda's vest yeah. that you will see more of soon, um, I have chosen for the yarn. Oh, oh pretty. Yes. It's so pretty! For the ribbing and the, the background, yeah. and then the cash silk light in the ochre color. Oh, that's so my cute. Cute. So I'm so excited. I get to use floof. Floof! So this that I'm going to cast so on, pretty. but I knew I wasn't going to make any progress, so I didn't worry about it. And I also, like I said, I'm trying to, trying to do that. But then also last night, I don't know. It's well, match. I thought... <gasps> yes, you're gonna of have course. a whole coordinated suite. <laughs> Definitely have a palette. Um, so last night I just well I've been carrying around the skein for a while. Um, we got super yummy in, which uh -huh. is the chenille from oh, one of the choice. chenilles from King Cole. So I decided oh, to make a jumpling kitty. Look at oh, no. a giant jumpling kitty. But look, <gasps> you could also wear it as a hat. jumpling kitty hat. It's like, oh, what? There's a there's a studio so Ghibli cute. character. There is. It's uh, like it looks like Totoro. Yes, Totoro. Totoro. Yeah, it does look like Totoro. So we have many jumpling kitties around the store, but oh, no. I just thought. I can make a Totoro hat. So that's a that's a skein. I think this is gonna oh actually take god. three skeins. So Let me grab me. the yummy one that Haley made when she was here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I, I can't how I'm dying. It is, though. I'm dying. It absolutely it is. Is it is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. That's a lot this bigger. Is, this is yummy, and that's super yummy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So do we I want? Love it. Should I make a three skein super yummy? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Answer. Like, answer absolutely. the question. Absolutely. Because like, how cute is it going to be? Like a big it's fat really kitty. Fun. And it's a little bit of a, like a what? What? It's almost like a squishmallow. It's a squishmallow. Yeah. Basically. It really is going to be like a squishmallow. Talking about like a, a squishmallow <laughs> session between yeah. like the fluffy squish, the the fuzzy squishmallow, and like the velvety squishmallow. 
Yeah, so. Absolutely. But this was what I was doing last night, watching Lessons in Chemistry. Oh my gosh. And, yeah. It's so cute. It was funny. I had been thinking, I, I remember asking Haley, I'm like, why don't we use that pattern for, like, you know, Ami Garumi 101? Yeah. yeah. And it is a little, it's a little confusing because you make one ear, that. you make one ear and then you make the other ear and then you chain and connect them. Mm -hmm. But, and I don't know, I was on the phone with Haley a little bit last night. She's like, I could talk you through it. But I knew she had homework to do. Yeah. So um, I kind of winged it a little bit. It's kind of hard to follow the directions, but... I don't know. I think it looks fine. I think it looks which fine. Which is all that matters in the end, right? After you do like so. 30 of them like Haley has. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Well, and I was talking to um, Erica it who's feels teaching so good. our... Feel how good it feels. Oh, it's so It's so our... velvety. It's crazy. Erica's yeah. teaching our Crochet 102 where you make a cr uh, an Emmy a bee, bee, which is the cutest, the cutest thing. And I was like, this I think is the perfect like amigurumi for a beginner who's just learned how to single crochet right exactly she's exactly. like she's like absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. pokeballs so. are also very good yes yeah. right like you just need something round round yeah. right no no shaping round and put little eyes in it and it's cute yes. Done. my my amy groomy crochet improved so much during those pokeballs for the boys yeah uh-huh yeah Love. So, so that that's my assortment of, of whips and whips to be. Oh, that's, that's so cute. <laughs> so a lot of crochet, right? Yeah, like, I, I have, have crochet, crochet half knitting, but I know I. All right, I will finish this. I'll Absolutely. grab another one. I got to take them out of inventory. But yeah, this is going to be like a great, like you know, like customize your own yeah. squishmallow mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, I love it. You get a different and dumpling colors. kitty is a great pattern, like base yeah. pattern for that too. Yeah, exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, oh yeah. and then you just like you could do it and. In, in blue and then crochet like the Can make a, belly a and... little contrast belly mm -hmm. yeah yeah contrast yeah contrast ears you do, or just like all one hot pink mm -hmm. yeah, one reason the pattern like is a little confusing yeah. is that it's oh, all written daddy. to have stripes on the back which i think the blue one doesn't yeah the blue one she just did it straight through right. yeah <laughs> like his little tail it's like he's got a broken well, tail like my tail. mother's cat i didn't realize one of my mother's cats has like a broken tail oh. how did i never know it like doesn't work it's it hangs Poor like little this penis. a child played with that dumpling i think it got yes. it got it, caught in a door or something it, they it might have been before my child <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can also like throw like some floral wire in. Yeah, there if you want to yeah. like, if you want it to be flexible. Or I or really like the one that she did um, out of one of, I guess maybe cotton soft or something. The one of the regular dumpling kitties that has a stone in the yeah. bottom, so he that's, sits nicely. That's the. I don't know if she did that with this or not. She didn't. No, no, she, no, yeah, she usually didn't. she didn't because he tips over. She'll, but like she'll weight them with. Yeah, yeah, you just do a little stone that fits in here, kind of a flat rock, yeah. and it's the best thing. It makes it sit there. Um, it but, depends on if you want it as like a like I'm gonna fall asleep with my little lovey. Yeah, exactly. It's maybe or, then or not if it's more more just like to sit there and look at it. Or you can do a bean bag, like a little bean bag yeah. with uh, dried beans or perfect. Toys oh, or that's something. a great idea. Or rice. Mm -hmm. But the pattern is written so that there are stripes on the back. Yeah. And that's partly why it's a little confusing because in doing the stripes, the decreases change. Mm. The key, oh. if you want to do this, just do the increases in line with the ears. Oh, that makes oh, sense. It's so basically, it's really easy to wing it once you, and this is a free pattern. We're not like giving away anyone's intellectual yeah. property that they are well, and wanting does she to be have, compensated um, for. Do you have uh, in your project notes on Ravelry? So like it. I, I will do it. Well, I created this at like 10 o'clock last night, so oh, yeah. I have not done a project yet. No, I you were it. doing kitties. I was making hearts. Yeah. I know. I'll actually start it nice. on Ravelry right now because otherwise I will forget go. when I did it. Do you have any other whiffs? Or is it meant to? Not, not that I brought with me. You know what I have left though? I have like three pairs of socks in progress and two blankets. Yeah. So that's not bad. Like that's back not bad. I've really worked through a lot of stuff. You've gone through a bunch. I'm proud of myself. I'm working on mine. But anyway, keep going. I don't have a full catalog of my webs. I just rotate through. All right. So I am working on Amanda's Fullerton vest. Yay. Yay. So pretty. I'm also using uh, Rommel Finnel Garn and I'm using LBA Mohair. Um, mohair? And, not Mohair. Um, Marina Boucle. Mm -hmm. Marina Boucle, and I can't remember what color. Is it Curious Dawn? Handmade? Is it Curious Handmade? Or Dawn. Dawn? No, it's Dawn. Dawn. It's Dawn. Yeah, it's a grayer. Um, and so I was saying before to the ladies, I'm like, I did the ribbing three times. <laughs> um, first, I did it's it. It's not written that way in the pattern. It's not written that way in the pattern. The pattern is not written that way. Um, <laughs> so we're testing Amanda's pattern. Um, and so I cast on, and I did the ribbing, and it was too much ribbing. Um, it was too wide. And so I ripped it out, and I cast on, and I twisted my rib. 
Ah. And then so I ripped it out. And then happens. I cast on again. And then I did the ribbing. And then I was like, oh my god, I have to do two and a half inches of ribbing. But because I had already done it twice before. Um, and then I got, so it basically. It's worth it. The it's two worth and a half, it. It is a lot. You need, you need but, the two and a half. Yeah. No, it would have been fine if I had done it once. once. Yeah. yeah. Three times. And so now my ribbing looks a little like it needs to be blocked because I ripped it up multiple times. But the yarn holds up beautifully. Yeah. Um, so I did my two and a half inches of ribbing over the course of two nights because it is two and a half. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's two and a half. No, it oh. almost looks like more. Oh yeah, it's two and a half. Exactly. I it's measured a that sucker. It's I love the colors together. So pretty. Yeah. Um, and then I did all of this Excuse in like one night. Um, it goes so much faster when you do the, um, the pattern stitch. And yeah, I, it was funny cause I had texted friends of mine who are not knitters and I was like, well, what do we think of this color combination when I did my swatch? And they're like, yes, it's, they're like, I like it. It's very Harvard. And the only thing I could think of is from trading spaces where it's like, like, oh sure. He went to Harvard, which <laughs> is just <laughs> stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like collegiate. But yeah. I'm excited. It's moving along. Really pretty. Yay. I've got nine inches of the pattern to go, but it goes... It goes fast. It that's, goes super fast. That's what I did basically when I was at um, Rhinebeck. Yeah. Because I did my original one. It goes super so, fast. Yeah. And it's like a garter brioche, but not really brioche, it's, nip below. Yeah. And it's, then... Um, it's... It's cute. Once you get into it, it's very relaxing. Did I put the basket over there? Oh, an uh, orange basket of yarn. Yes. Okay. This is my other whip. <laughs> and I, I've just like made a giant mess over here. There's like stuff everywhere. <laughs> you can't see it. It doesn't exist. Oh yeah. Here's the, here's the nice yes. organized Excellent. basket of yarn. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to be doing, this is for my sweater class. I'm going to be doing the Eva cardigan, which is the DK weight. So I am mm. looking at, I was here picking out yarns and I can't make a decision. <laughs> um, I have so Helix, LBA Helix in Lichen, which I would hold double with either I love that. Jasper. So pretty. And this is like my, this is like my silk. flowers. Do you remember my little yes, flowers? Yes, yes. Yeah. Little that flowers. was Jasper and the Cashmere. Or the, yeah, the Cashmere. The uh -huh. Cashmere. Uh -huh. Two, yeah. So with this Same one. Same color in two different colors. Or I would, is that the one that I would hold her with? Or with... Winterfell. My worry with Winterfell in this is that it's going to look too marled too and marly. not just yeah. be kind of like this with a blue haze. So mm -hmm. I'm leaning against this, although I do want to, but I need to the, swatch it. The sweaters are so simple Yeah. that I don't think that's necessarily bad. Like I think the fabric could be really pretty that way. I think the fabric could be really pretty, but I don't want to marl. I don't want a marled look. I want I, something I think a little with, bit more cohesive with some pops. I think with that much contrast, it will marl. I, I, yeah, I'm too. worried. Definitely. The other option that I'm leaning towards now, um, of these two options, uh, right, yeah. is the Helix and Sansa and the Mohair Silk and Springtime at Yarnia. That's yeah. lovely. Yeah, that would be so and pretty. And I feel like this would be like a light blue-green sweater. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And this would be a neutral with some pops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. leaning a little pink, but I think the grayish of the of the uh, mohair silk would tone it down. Mm -hmm. uh, what what do I do? Yeah, what do I do? I think I want a light really colored, nice. basic, not neutrals. I don't do beige. This would you wear that more? I think I, I would think. wear this and more. it's springtime at Yarnia. And it's springtime at Yarnia. There you and go. I haven't yeah. worked with the mohair silk springtime. Oh. At you worked really with the mohair silk though, which is just I like, worked with the mohair silk, silk which I yeah. love. Um, yeah, so I'm leaning towards this. What do you guys think? Hit me up. Let me know. All right, so that's my <laughs> potential whip. Love it. Huh. Well, I mean, it is gonna be a whip. It's gonna be a whip. But which one? Yeah. I mean, which whip? Yeah. Which, which one? whip will it be? Which whip? Which whip? Be? Um. Yeah. So that's, that's me. That's me. That's all I got. I'm working on my finish at February right now. Mm -hmm. um, this is my last square for my blanket. Shut up, really? Oh, wow. wow, that's great. Yay. This is square number 60. It's Mew. 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 Love Mew. You're so cute. Um, and I finished... You should put in a picture of Mew because otherwise people are going to be, what the hell is wrong with Mew? Also, what's the reason you're Mew and Mew? What the hell is wrong with that? Pokemon say their names. Yes, they do. So that's Pikachu. their sound. Pika Pika. Pikachu. Mewtwo talks. 
<laughs> like, Mewtwo full on talks. Because Mewtwo is genetically modified Mew. Yes. Um, I'm not a very nice Pokemon. No, he's but very powerful. Um, <laughs> so anyway, Mewtwo I finished at the beginning of this podcast, and Mewtwo is so on Mewtwo. Nice. Um, and I know, I love them. Um, and then I'm done with all the squares, and Yay. I have. Then you have to assemble them. Right, and that's my plan. I'm not going to finish the assembly, okay. but I'm going to have a plan okay. that I then just have to execute. All right. And then my other finish at February is to actually finish the stripes blanket full stop. Mm-hmm. Which Including border. <clears throat> including border. Well, that yeah. one, yeah. That's just... Which I am on my third from last <gasps> color on the stripes Great. right now. So I've got to finish um, Moltres. Okay. And then I have Mew and Mewtwo. And then I'm done... With that blanket. And do you know what you're doing for the border yet on that? No. Okay. No, I do not. So you got to figure that out. Yes. <clears throat> you get it. Yay! See? Yay! On my so squares, close. each one has a little tag. So that's that's going on there. Since we talked about the Fullerton vest, I am also yes. re-knitting the Fullerton vest to test it. <gasps> Ta-da-da! And this so pretty. is pretty. This was my project I took to um, the second day. So the first day of Knitting Live, I took this sweater and basically finished the sleeve. Um, and then the next day, I took uh, a cord with a cast on and knit two and a half inches of rib. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, that's a good, like, brainless kind of thing that to is do. A good. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, probably the least painful way to accomplish it in some ways. Yes. Yeah. Like, when you're actually busy with other stuff. Yeah, so my first, um, my first version of this vest, I had a solid color for the ribbing, right? Like it's color mm-hmm. number one, mm-hmm. and I had a variegated as the color number two, and this one I swapped it. So um, I have, I'm using Mad Tosh, Tosh Sock, in the color Central Park West, which I thought was very apropos to also take to Knitting Live in New York City. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, and be knitting on all day. So that's Central Park West. And then for my um, fuzzy stuff, I'm using some of the silk mohair, 98% mohair, 2% silk from Ferme Damate, um, which was some of what I brought home from France. So they have beautiful saturated color. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. I'm using this Aqua. I feel like I'm five years old today. <laughs> I feel like there's another episode where I said that, but I do. I don't know. Uh, I love that aqua. That's you know so what? I, it's funny. I when you told me that you were doing, um, you know, a speckle for uh-huh. the ribbing, I was like, hmm, I wonder how that's going to look. And I was intrigued, and I was thinking, in some ways, I don't love that I pick two solids, but because I'm limited to the cash look lights, yeah. since I can't do mohair. I had to. I'm yeah. actually rethinking my my mink color right now. Yeah. yeah, maybe I would do. Tosh, I love Tosh is like one of my absolute favorite yarns. Yeah, that looks stop, really beautiful. You know, do love it, and we have so many colors. Yeah, I may I may take my cash look like and go up to the Tosh sock wall and, and see if I want to choose my. See what Tosh does a great speckle, and the speckles cool. don't pool like. Yep. Um, like yeah. speckles kind of well, or like a high, heavily variegated yarn. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so, so yeah. that's 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 this. Uh, it version. looks really nice. I love it. It looks great. Um, also, something I hope I get done for finish in February is this. The first uh, rounds of this pattern probably not finished tested, but like where I think it's good. Um, I sent it to these lovely ladies last week, and Jen has sent me back like three pages of comments. Sorry. Maybe, lot, can, can I get the comment version before I before yeah, I start? Yeah, I, I, I incorporated a lot of the comments yesterday. Okay, okay cool. Um, and so, yeah, I can send you B2. Um, but, yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually quite a process to, yeah. to write it out. It takes more thinking, I think. It's going to take me more thinking to write the pattern than it did to, to come up it. with the whole idea. Oh, to definitely. Well, because yeah. also, it's like you're used to... It's easy to write, like, your shortcut notes, right, for yourself. Yeah, Because right? exactly. you know what you're saying, where you're just like... Yeah. I like, when I write notes to myself, I'm like, knit, dash, and it's like, knit the whole row. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're writing it for somebody else, you'll be like... You gotta spell it out. Knit the whole row. Knit across. Yes. <laughs> knit round. Whatever. And then you have yeah. to be consistent with the word. I mean, yeah. it's... I've also never graded, so, like, thinking... Yeah. And that's the hard. Knitting for a body that's not mine. Yeah. That's... Okay. Not mine and not five years old. I've knit for a lot of bodies that were 
child mm, size. Yeah, child yeah. size. Uh-huh. And also, if it doesn't fit them now, it'll grow into it. Right. <laughs> or, or some other child who wear it or whatever. Exactly. It'll fit someone. Yay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's a whip of mine. Um, and then the last thing I brought was just for, just to show you guys some the other thing. Um, that I worked on at Knitting Live. Yes. Um, yeah, we didn't see which, uh, which I made a swatch. Which I think I'm just going to bind off. Um, I'm going to put some ribbing on the end and bind off and put it in the store. Um, Ooh, oh, it's pretty. pretty. But these, um, these are... This is the motif from Mary Jane Mucklestone's Tam Toe Knits. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty. And I stupidly cast on four repeats and it's supposed to be three so it's a very wide swatch like it's not going to become anything because it would become uh -huh. a mitt big enough for like shrek mm. <laughs> so anyway um so yeah i think i'm just gonna it's, it's just gonna be a swatch and it shows off really nicely i think what happens when you um play with a lot of phenol garn because this yeah. is what i took with me uh-huh oh my goodness oh wow Whoa. Two, and one just ate it yeah i know but, uh, yeah, so, like, this was my table for Mary Jane Mucklestone's, like, color work class. Um, and it was really fun because I got to just play with colors, yeah. which I don't usually just sit down for three hours and say, like, mm -hmm. how do these look together? How yeah. do these work together? What if I did this, right? Um, and that was, a, that was a really fun exercise. I think I we should have, here. I think we should have some just, like, color work playing workshops. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We should good Because it was really instructive. I mean, obviously, Mary Jane is, like, brilliant. Right. Um, and just, like, listening to her and absorbing her knowledge for three hours was fantastic. Um, but also just, I mean, you learn by doing. And yeah. just yes. yep. trying something out um, mm -hmm. and, and seeing what comes out and being like, hmm, do I like this? Do I not like this? Should yeah. I do something different? It was yeah. really useful. Um, so I'll show you what I did uh, during my three hours there. Uh Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so if you love this pattern, this is um this is the pattern from the Tamto mitts by Mary Jane Mucklestone. And um and yeah, it's an opportunity to just play with play with colors. Because there's like six different colors in the mitt. Um and you can just mess around with it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's right. Yeah, there's six different colors. Three darks, three lights, and it is supposed to be an instructive pat it was meant to be an instructive pattern where mm -hmm. you like reverse the darks and the lights on the mm, other side of the mitten so you so learn you how see. how colors sort of play together. Very nice. That's, yeah. She's so Very smart. So yeah. it's, uh, and I was gonna say the female garn is like kind of the perfect color work. Oh yeah. Yarn. It makes it so easy because it's a little bit sticky. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, my Definitely. stitches came off here, and who cares? And it doesn't yeah, matter. You're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and it, we have a bajillion colors. Yes. So, like... Yeah. And I've... Especially if you do a few projects, then you have a bajillion pro colors. Right. Yeah. And I just, like, this is my stash of phenol. Like, mm -hmm. I've used all this in some project or another. Yeah. Or thought I was going to, and then... And they make... Swatched and didn't. Phenol makes great mints. Yes. Like, I yes. made... When I was... I, I did... Um, my third run of the Fighting Words mitts in Fino Garn, and I'll tell you, it was just. They're light and I did the and first warm? two. They're light. They're warm. They were easy to work. Uh huh. Um, yeah, and I had done the just... first two in a superwash fingering, which was also it looked great. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it's a little slipperier, and uh, there's something with doing the color work with the Fino Garn where it just made it so much easier to yes. go. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it just becomes like, like one fabric at the end. Yeah. Yeah. You lock them, and then it looks. Yeah. It really looks lovely. fantastic. Yeah, those are my favorite of Ooh. the of my three rounds of mitts. I mean, granted, I made the third one because the children stole the first two. <laughs> um, cool. So are we good with whips? That's my, that's my whips. Nice. So let's nice. move on to opinion. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What is our question for the week? Oh, should we do the giveaway from last week first? Um, we can do opinions and then both okay. old yeah. and new we'll giveaway. Do opinions, How about? And then we'll do giveaway from last week and giveaway for this week. So, our that gives us time to think of a question. I thought of a question earlier. Oh, and good. Now I forget what it was. Oh no. no. <laughs> I know. If I don't write it down during something like this, I will I... never remember. Oh my 
I, I thought to myself, I'm totally gonna remember that. Yeah. I am. And I'm then a big we start talking. Today. I'm making a big mess again. You remember that for this empty? I feel like yeah, it's yeah, yeah, empty enough, but not empty enough that I'm not terrified about knocking it over. All right. So our hashtag opinion question this time yes. was uh, asked by Shellycraft4273 in episode 110. Okay. And she said, what is your preferred technique for sweater knitting if your gauge is off with the recommended needle size? Do you change the needle size until you achieve gauge? Do you size up or down to reach the correct measurements? Um, and we didn't have to go far when I was like looking through some that we hadn't asked yet because we all feel strongly about this. Oh, do we? <laughs> so and I, and I feel like I feel like you know I I've heard people in the store recently like abandon patterns because they couldn't because they didn't get the the gauge with the needle that's because everyone has a personal gauge do, do not let that sway you from doing a pattern never let the needle size that you need to use or the crochet hook size or whatever prevent you from doing anything yeah that is just so silly well, and that's like, why, I mean, that is why silly, we swatch, like, basically. It's why, that you, is... it's why you swatch. Like, I need to go down a needle size. It doesn't matter. Like, I could get the same, and we've seen this in in actual life, right? Like, um, a tight knitter might use a size 9 to get the same gauge that I'm getting on a size 5. On and our socks. I exactly. On 1.5. I knit and with I, a size zero. I knit with a zero, and I probably should knit with a double zero. <laughs> um, and we get this engaged. Yeah. 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 No. So right. gauge is so individual, and and it may change over time too. That's yeah. one of the things. And also you know. with yarn or with project or oh with for needles. sure. Yeah. But like the first thing you should do if you're not getting the gauge that you want, like there's three, and I, I say this in every single sweater class, there are three components to a project, right? There's the pattern, the yarn, and you. Yes. Right? Yes. And let's add a fourth in here, the needles. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a pattern that calls for a specific gauge, okay, you're going to start with the yarn, the needle, and you. And if something in that, th that third trio. combination, in that trio, doesn't work, you can't change you. <laughs> right? Yeah. The first it's thing. really not worth trying. And that is another thing no. that actually I hear people talk about that too. It's I'll like, just knit tighter. yeah, I'll knit tighter. Every, I'll knit looser. It's like, don't do it. Don't. Just change your needle size. So easy. Yeah. Just, just, cause just knitting should be enjoyable. Right. It should be a pleasant experience. You shouldn't have to be thinking with every stitch, yeah. be loose, be loose. No, I, you should just be I, relaxing into your knitting. I do knit tighter. You do knit tighter. But no, like, I mean, I will change my tension. Right, but, project you, project. but you'll also, but I mean, I knit tighter when I knit socks. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But like, you'll I'm also, sure. if but you're not getting, if you're not getting a gauge or a fabric that you like with like a size nine and yes. you're like, oh, this is too loose. Do you yeah. like think I'm going to knit tighter or yes. do you just really? Yes. Why would you do that? Because that's, that's a lot of times going down a full half millimeter is too much. So mm -hmm. what I do is I wrap my yarn twice and give it a little more tension around my mm -hmm. wrist and that's what I do for the whole project. Go down mm -hmm. needle size. And that was actually something somebody asked that question um, when we were in our knitting class with uh, uh, Mary Jane Mickelson. Uh -huh. And they're like, so, you know, when people were knitting sweaters on Shetland uh, or on Fair Isle, um, what needle size did they use and what did, what about for the ribbing? Did they, she's like, they just knit they, tighter. They knit tighter for the ribbing. They yeah. used the set. There was wow. only one set of needles. Yeah. They use the Fair. same needles for everything, and they wow. just knit tighter on the ribbing. But so, also where we're at now, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, why would you, why would you not use the correct tool for the job? And, and also, it's one thing. It's like you can do that, and and I mean, if you're like you realize, I'm not recommending that necessarily, but that's how I. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I get my, it, but, but like. But so so many people feel like you know I, I've heard people in the store feel like oh they shouldn't do a pattern because they're not yeah, yeah you know, I mean that like, yeah there there are so many ways yeah. to adjust yeah. it and one of them certainly is to tell yourself to knit tighter and if and if by would change... you do it in your brain you physically have to change something yeah, about yeah. your knitting but but also if if <laughs> you could do the same thing by just changing your needle and I, I know you're saying like if if changing the needle would be too much that's right. one thing if you're but too loose most... at a nine and you're too tight at an eight yeah. sure change your knitting yeah change your knitting so. but if you're too loose at a nine and you haven't even tried an eight exactly <laughs> yeah, then, then try the eight at least three needle sizes <laughs> try the eight yeah 
And if the eight is still too loose, try a seven. Exactly. It doesn't matter if like the pattern says knit it on a ten and a half and you're like, I hate that fabric. But like, well, yeah, why would you want to you... hear something funny? I got rejected from a test knit and this is a long time ago. This was like 10 years ago because my needle size was so different ah. from thing. And I'm like, my fabric is beautiful. I'm using, they even I'm sent me the yarn. I'm getting the gauge. And they literally said, no, you can't. And also, I don't know. I feel like that that was a long time ago. I was so surprised. I really I'm was. I'm shocked because honestly, I would yeah. rather, I mean, the whole point of gauge is to be like, if you want it to fit and look the way right. that the model, whether the model is like a flat layer on person, like this is mm -hmm. what it's going to look like. This is how it will fit. This is how it will drape. If you don't get gauge, it will be different. Right. If you get gauge... And who cares how you get gauge? Exactly, exactly. Well, but what if you don't get gauge? So well, that's different. That that's right. another question. That's a or that's, that's a, a separate that's, level. that's like a that's a, diff that's that's a is, twist on the question. It's about that's a, on the question, right? Yeah. Because yeah. for and this sweater, mm -hmm. or you know, maybe for your cardo, you know, mm -hmm. I love this f fiber. This mm -hmm. sort of like aligns with what we were talking about last week, right? Yeah. I want to knit a sweater in this fiber. I love the look of this sweater, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm not getting gauge. Like I'm materially off. And if I get gauge, the fabric is going to be different. You're like, I hate the fabric yeah. I'm getting when yeah. I get the gauge. Right. That's it's why too tight. If, right. if I, if I do something with Cardo, I may do like 12 stitches over four inches. Yeah. And, right. may. and I think that would get, get a me a fabric that I like. To get the fabric yeah. you like. Honestly, I probably could, if you should, look at that, like, look at what sizing, do the math to see what size right. I would need to do if I were to do it at three stitches to the and end. that's yeah. what I did for this one. And there are sweaters, certain sweaters are easier to do that for than others. Like Absolutely. For, for yeah. ones that have detailed instructions, like a coconuts pattern, I'm not sure I would change. Your hot pink sweater, the Subaki pullover. With all the cables would, and everything, yeah. That, well, that or with the change. intricate like instructions, the show, yeah. any side by side sweaters. So like a lot of the Lauren Nelkins, I would not change that. Yeah. yeah. But if you're looking at a drop shoulder pattern, which is essentially yeah, a Boxes. box. Yep. Squares, right? rectangles. So, and I'll <laughs> rectangles say. Rectangles are easy to modify. Then you can say. Yeah, like, you can work okay, to measurements. This is you how can... many stitches I need. Yep. You can, you know, look at the schematic and see what the designer says you should have from your shoulder to the armhole opening. And measure as you go. Yeah. You know? Then you knit to your measurements that you're getting. Yeah. Then you knit to your measurements. Accommodating for any changes. And you blocking. can still apply mm -hmm. the stitch patterns. You can apply yeah. the finishing. And I'll for tell that you pattern. though, people get very scared about doing that. And I think it's because folks have made folks have been off gauge or their gauge has changed during a project, which also mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. sometimes. Block right. your swatch. Block your swatch. Block your this swatch. And measure before. <laughs> measure after. Block your swatch. Measure after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Write all of that down. You know what I do too? You know how it changes. Um, take a picture of your swatch with a measuring tape in it. That's another oh, thing that's that I do idea. that's really handy so that yes. if you do actually decide so to get rid of it. So when you take your swatch out? Yeah. Which I normally don't frog a swatch till the end. I... <laughs> Um, but you know, whatever you, sometimes you have I to know how much iron, you know, you're going to have, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I think there's, I, I think there are two different questions in that question, right? Mm -hmm. The, the first being, if you don't get gauge with the recommended needle size, the key word to recommend, to remember there is recommend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a suggested yes. needle size. It's not long. Yeah. And I also think most patterns have gotten much better about yeah. spelling that or out. Or size in the last needed of... to get gauge. Exactly. And some people don't even put a size in. They, they, and I think. I want a size to start me. with. I'm like, cause I know, I know it is. Well, your quote unquote normal gauge yeah. for me, I'm going to go down a needle size to start my swatch on. Yep. It that's, is definitely harder to help people in the with. store with. when they bring in a pattern that's got something that has no yes. needle size. Yeah. And I know I will normally go down two needle sizes. Yes. And, exactly. you know. That's when I stock and, the designer's sample and I'm like, oh, what, what needle did size you did you use? Um, <laughs> well, and this is the thing. And like some folks who knit tighter are going to always be like, well, I'm always going to go up in needle size. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the other thing you said, so the first thing you can change is needle size. The second thing you can change is your yarn or your pattern. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. You can't change you. Yeah. No, not easily. It's not easy. Well, to it, change it takes you. more effort. It takes a lot more effort to change you to consciously change you. Well, you're not going to change your upper bust measurement. 
No, no, but I, I'm, I'm thinking about you saying you knit tighter for but certain inter- things. I, I like feel that's like changing it's, uh, you, it's you significantly know? harder for I think most people to basically just be like, "Well, I knit tighter." Or, now, if you you're one of those people down. who can be like, "Well, I'm going to hold my yarn differently and I'm going to knit tighter," but most people what? start that way and then and then within be- ten minutes they've slipped back the into what they the usually row, do. Yeah. They're exactly. back to why is my ge- why am I suddenly rowing out? And yeah, like, yeah, you, exactly. Your gauge changed, and like I said, back to your normal. You have to, if you're going to, if, if you're going to do something like that, like I would suggest like actually physically doing something different. Yes. Yes. yes that right. you right. know will impact. Changing your needle composition. Like if you were knitting with metal. Yes. That's another to thing. Wood, yep. Try a wood needle. Right. Yeah. Or a plastic or the yep. composite. Yep. Needles. Because um, that will change. That will change your gauge. Your gauge. Yep. For sure. Um, or it can. Not, right. not for everybody, but it certainly yeah. can. Yeah, and if you're doing something, something if you are physically doing something different for that project, Write it down or be a monogamous knitter. One of the two. Yeah, yeah, 100%. so that you don't Otherwise, accidentally forget it when you pick it up six months later. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, I also feel, I mean, granted, I have interchangeable <laughs> needles, but I also feel like if you've done more than one project, it is worth, and you're going to continue in this, it's, it's worth having a variety of needles that you can try and, you know. Yeah. It, the thing is, is that you can invest in needles and they don't get used up. Right. right exactly. Your needles exist yep. until you lose them. Or <laughs> I will say, so we have, we have had, I've had more than once a customer come in and be like, my wooden needles are rough. And then we go back and find out they bought them seven years ago. So it, it's the, sort of the same concept of if you drive your car on a regular basis, Maybe. parts are going to get worn out. Yes. Yes. True. Yeah. It, and I don't think any of us who have a car expect to never need to go have our car do service any maintenance yeah. or yeah. change the tires right. ever or change it, the oil, change the or, oil. You know, yeah. yeah. Like, so the yeah, same way right. is if mm-hmm. you have a, a tool that you're using on a regular basis, like mm-hmm. my sixes, right. they are, size. they are like rough. I mean, the, the veneers are rubbing off, mm-hmm. especially for wooden needles, right? Like metal do last a little bit longer. Although if it's something you're using regularly, if it's the, got a coating, the might. joins after your hundredth project, mm-hmm. maybe may not lose. survive. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's yeah. not that's fair. a, uh, it's not a defect. manufacturer it's, defect. It's, it's under, it's use. It's wear and tear. Wear and tear. Yeah. 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 Good point. So. But like, it's also one of those things where it's like your needles will last you, your size six needles will last you through a number of projects. So it's not like yeah. Oh, yeah. you so buy you yarn for a project, and you use it up. Right. Right. And yeah. you can't, without you, can unravel it. It. you can unravel it and reuse right. the yarn. But like, you know, with the needles, it's like you use the needle for the project and then they're ready for another project. Certainly. Yeah. Um, so like, that's one, right? With so, interchangeables, you can take them off your first project. Exactly. You can so put them on yeah. hold and then Bob's your uncle. Um, but so like, that's one thing. And if you're not getting gauge for, but you like the fabric that you're getting with your needle and your yarn, then there are a couple of things you can do. One, you can change the pattern, right? First thing. And it depends on what level of knitter you're at, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking at like, Oh, I want to make a basic V neck cardigan or I need a, I'm, I'm not getting gauge for my top down raglan. Yeah. Maybe first look and see if there's another top down raglan written for the gauge. If you're a beginner knitter. I I mean, I I'm changing things in my patterns, but that's because I've been, and Jen does. Yeah, I do it all the time. It, right. And you teach classes on how to do that. I teach classes mm-hmm. on how to do it. <laughs> right. And also I'm, sometimes yeah. I'm lazy and I'm like, or there's some detail that I want in this pattern that I need to, I'm like, I like it. Right. I don't want to change the pattern. Right. But the mm-hmm. first thing I would suggest is like, is there something that's exactly the same? If you've been knitting, there might be multiple yeah. sweaters yeah. a year for five years, you can probably change. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. even if it, I mean, like it, if it's your first sweater, like I make would, it as easy as possible. Make for it yourself. as easy as possible. Yeah. If you're an adventurous knitter, I mean, I'm thinking of like Emily who like learns to knit and then is <laughs> like teaching. Yeah. And, right. You know, like in less than a year <laughs> drove into the deep end and is, excellent at it. Right. Like, so I I mean, if you're an adventurous knitter, who's like, no, I'm going to do this, then it's, then go for it. It's not your thing to try. Difficult to change your gauge. If you know the construction of the sweater, if it's a drop shoulder, if it's a top down raglan, if it's, um, sometimes in pieces is easy because you just knit to the measurement. Yes. Like you knit to the measurement. There's a lot of people that like 
pieced sweaters because that's what you can do. You can right. get to the measurement. True. You can be like, I need to knit a five inch wide band. Right. Okay. My five inches at five stitches an inch is going to be 25 stitches. And if Amanda's writing the pattern and hers is six stitches an inch, mm -hmm. then hers is going to be 30. Right. We're both five inches. Mm -hmm. Right. But you just got to translate. You tra and if you if you need to change the gauge, you just need to know the kind of magic formula where it's like your stitches and your stitches per inch. You know those two things that'll give you the inches that you need. If you have the inches you need and the gauge that you have, the your stitches per inch, then you can figure out how many stitches yeah. you need. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it might require math. Yes, it does or require. It probably math. will require. Math. It will yeah. require math. But not hard math. But not arithmetic, though. Arithmetic. Get your calculators out. Yeah. yeah, that's why we have phones. Oh my God, I can't. I'm like, I can't. Anyone who's taking this sweater class knows me. I'm like, wait a minute, I gotta get up the calculator because I don't remember. I can't do this math. <laughs> it's like thirty divided by five is. Oh my God. And usually Judy's like, oh my God, six. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Judy. Math uh, teacher. Um. All right. Yeah. Was she a math teacher? I believe so. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's well, kind, of, kind of makes sense. Actually. She double checks my math every time. I, I love it. I love that. Well, thank um, you. All right. Well, ta -da. So cool. Ta -da. So that is lots of opinions. The opinions. Wow. So um, let's talk so, about what our giveaway was last week. Yes. Yeah, so last time our giveaway, well, our question was: yes. Do you usually pick your pattern first or your yarn? And we had a lot of answers. Thanks, guys, for chiming yes. in. It's always fun to yep. see what people say. Um, we had actually a mix of, there were quite a few that were like 50-50, which was yeah. kind of like Jen, right? Um, there were, and you know, a few, uh, some, some, it was kind of spread pretty evenly in some ways. I didn't actually, I didn't do a tally on this one, but just reading them. A lot of people were solidly pattern first. A lot of people were solidly yarn first, especially if they worked from their stash. Yeah. Which yeah, makes yeah. a lot of which sense. makes a lot of sense. And then there were a lot of people who were like 50-50. So um, our prize is a skein of any line of Madeline Tosh that we carry. Yay! So we've got the prize. sock, we've got DK, um, and we are getting vintage. We're about, we're getting, we're we're about to get Mad Tosh vintage. Because if you remember what prompted that was Chad wants a specific right, pattern that's right. with a specific color. Yeah. <laughs> Which we didn't know. And have. I was trying to make a specific yarn work. And yeah. this was just not having a baby. Yeah. Yeah. The yarn was, was, not, was not. The yarn not has happening. the pattern. was not working. So... We got a new and, yarn. And we, well, and also, the we, sweater. Were, we were also we were ready. ready. We, were, we were ready, we were ready for, for a new hand dyed yes. worsted. So, yes, yeah, so that is what we're doing. Excited. So, we Tosh don't have Tosh, Tosh Vintage yet, but we do but have we, Wool Cycle Sport, too. Yeah. Oh, thank that. you. Thank you. I That's knew there was something else, and it was not coming to mind. Yeah. So, our winner is Mama Jess Knits, Yay! who said she usually does pattern first. If it's a garment, everything else, she goes back and forth. Oh, Which that also that makes is, a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it it's does. so much easier if you've got you know a skein or two around. It's like make a hat, make mittens, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But um, but for for garments, pattern first, which definitely because you're definitely like I want me. that yeah, sweater. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So I love it. All right, and so do we have a question for have, this week? Okay, I'm gonna break and let's think about it. We're right. back. We Yay! figured it out. I remembered. <laughs> I remembered. Okay, so we were talking earlier about um. Jen gives Ollie little tasks to do around the house, and then that led into I love ironing and hate uh, washing, washing cups. cups. <laughs> That's so specific, Amanda. It's really funny. I love it. So, <laughs> I'm super curious, and I thought at the time, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's a totally fun question. Yeah. So, what household chore do you like secretly like doing, and what do you loathe? So that's my. Okay, <laughs> that's I like a good it. One. I like it. And then so we want we want a a, a love oh. and a hate. Yeah, a love, love and a hate. Yep, yep. All right. I would accept a tolerate and a hate. Okay. Well. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, if you hate all household chores, find the joy. Find the joy in one of them. It's uh -huh. the zen. Uh -huh. right? Which you like that zen? Like, yeah. you're like, like okay, this. yeah. You know, well, can I say one that it's a funny? I used to hate, and now I love. Yeah, cooking like, oh, all yeah, the time, really? and yeah. it's funny because I don't know. I still, I'm the only one in my house that ever cooks. Like Haley will bake, but and she's not home all the time. She's at college. Yeah, but um, Jean, his mom taught him so many good things. She never taught her boys to cook. Oh, 
Oh. Teach your boys to and cook. And so, yeah, really. Every every human should know how to cook for themselves. Yes. And, like, he will make boss mac and cheese, but yuck, I will never eat that. Really? Oh, my I goodness. Love I love box mac and cheese. God, I hate box mac and cheese. Oh, so it's just, good. like, it's not even mac and cheese to me. I can't no, call it the same why thing. why we it's like it. different it's creature. Powdered yeah. orange. Yeah. Delicious. But, um... <laughs> Ugh, I, you know, it's funny. There are certain things that I like, like that are cheese? very big. I like pop tarts. I mean, I love, I love pop tarts. Pop tarts are kind of gross, but I do love them. Pop tarts like panda sugar sauce. <laughs> That's the same, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, I, I think I used to resent that I, and you know, we do take out. We we go out. It's yeah, not like yeah, I yeah, cook yeah. seven nights a week by any means. Um, I am also a huge fan of planned leftovers. Oh my god. And thank God, well, again, like, I'm the one that's feeding them, so they don't really get a vote. Yeah. But, like, You get what you get, when, you when get I, upset. When I hear people say, like, oh, my family doesn't do leftovers, it's like, well, if if you, the cook, doesn't mind that, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But as the only person in the house that cooks, if they Guess like leftovers, to so, and some things are better. Like, yeah. a lasagna, oh, my God, is always Still, so much better so on much the better. second day. So and better. in Lessons in Chemistry, she explained why. So I was yeah. like, I was yeah. like, oh, I love that. Now, okay. there actually is Hot a reason. Hot roast is delicious. Exactly. There are many roast. things. And that's actually, I'm making a little um, stew tonight. And I know I'm going to have enough for, for the two of us for two meals. I'm like, Perfect. great. So it's Tuesday night, and it's probably going to be Thursday night, too. I love that. Butternut love having... squash soup at my house. Though. Yum. I love butternut squash soup. Can you tell we're hungry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are very... It's definitely lunchtime now. So, anyway, that's my, my five minutes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So, what, what household tasks do you love? What ha household tasks do you hate? And... What will they win? They will win. We just got a whole bunch of new stuff in from Delic. Yes, and when I say a whole lot, I am not kidding. Like, yep, a lot. So well, you're going to be able to choose from among the fabric collection. Yes. So we picked a couple of really cute prints for those. Yes, We've got Michelle. the yarn bombing print. Oh my gosh, the yarn bombing print is so cute. And these then, are the needle cases. Yeah, that's so so good. I just needle cases. That's the that's the crochet hook case. Oh, this is the the, the hooks. We had we were low on crochet hooks cases. You could also, could, do, I would also interchangeable. do interchangeable. Though you know what, there's no place for the cords. Then oh, that's that is true. We have thing. other crochet hook or we double have, points. We have other or double Q's. points probably. Yeah. yeah. So these are the new patterns. We have other delicate linen collections. Yes, we have yes. a lot of the linen collection, that, and actually people could choose from that yes. too. That's still the fabric yeah, collection. Yeah. They're yeah. on. They're online, but these are just the new prints. Yeah, so you can see Which the yarn these bombing. We'll have to put up. We'll we'll steal pictures. So of we them. have the crochet yarn crochet bombing prints. So yeah, we have the and this is the the coffee this coffee the and crafting. The green is the coffee and crafting, yeah. which yeah. is so cute. I love that there are knit, knitting needles and yeah. crochet hooks. Yeah, this is coffee and crafting, so you can see it has the hooks. And the needles. Yay. Um, we've so got we nice have little drawstring bags. The drawstring bags. We have the cases. We have these cute little babies. These are chicken boots. So That's chicken right. Boots. Yeah, all the these fabrics boots. are in combo with chicken boots, right? Yeah. So these, the, are, so these are not chicken boots, but same fabric. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. These are the chicken boots versions. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's much better. Oh, we look normal again. No, <laughs> no. We're kind of looking like we were into a thousand degree lights so or something. Really. Um, so Chicken Boots was an indie bag maker mm -hmm. who, during the pandemic, early 2021, uh, went out of business. Um, but Q partnered with them and brought back their most popular styles. So this is um, the little, what do they call this one? Uh, like a wristlet. Yeah, it's like a little wristlet. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. you put like yep. a, it's like a one skin project. It's like a super project. Great for like a, like a sock, sock or yep. a shawl, a little one skin shawl. Yeah, so it's like, pop it in. But it has um like uh translucent sides and front. Yeah, so, so you can see you what, can you're, see doing. what you're doing. Easy so to like remember that, which that, project that. it is. Love it. Um, and then we have the bigger bags Backpack and chicken style. boot styles as well. Um, so they call these the double double. Is that what they're killed? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Um, so they're like a box on the bottom. Uh-huh. Um, translucent sides. There's a uh, inside pocket. Love the pocket. So you can see what's in your pocket. Nice. What? Where's that notion that I like, lost? Didn't I have stitch markers in here? Yeah. yeah you do. Oh, you can, can see. see. Um, and then it draws on the top. Nice. Very handy. Yeah. Mm. Jam that ball too. Right? So... <laughs> Those are the chicken boots as well as the new fabric collection colors. You should show like, the O snaps. And then we have I got 
Yes. O snaps. So these yeah. are standing O snaps. Um, they stand ish. Uh, they are, they're a little bit wider on the bottom and box. So yeah, when you put something in there. Yeah. yeah, and also they've been kind of crushed in a box because we yes. still haven't unpacked all of them yet, so <laughs> they're not. We they're literally not at their like yanked these out of a box. Yeah, but and I love that they have zippers on them. Yeah. They have a zipper pocket. So they come in a set of two, large, yeah. extra large, mm -hmm. and both of them have front zippers. So come on. So again, keep your notions and things in there where they're together with your project. You yeah. can see them. Keep or um, your pattern. Keep, them, keep whatever. Them together. Oh, a pattern. You could probably yeah. even read it through the mesh. Yeah, and that this is what I brought my O snaps to. Uh, nice. Boom. Yeah, they are very efficient for packing things. So these are the um, prize items, I guess, this time. But we also get yes. other things from Della Q2 from some of their other collections. From the Maker's Collection. From the Maker's, from the Maker's collection. collection. Actually, the impetus for ordering was because Kathleen texted me one morning. She says, Amanda, 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 they have the, the mesh totes the are mesh back. The mesh totes are back. <laughs> We need to order them now. The Maker's Mesh Totes. We, yeah, so we got little. red. We got purple. Yeah. Yeah. We purple. Got, um, I got olive. Love. Yep. And we got mustard. Yeah. Do we have one less mustard yet, Kathleen? Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means Kathleen. Maybe, maybe two. Actually, somebody else ordered one even before Oh, me. nice. Yeah. But yes, I'm so happy the mustard is back. I was really, it was one of those things. Well, like Amanda always says, leave them for the customers. Like, we yeah, try not to I usually do that. take things first. And, I did and take let... a purple one, and I didn't love it. So. <laughs> but this is the second order, so we can do it. Yeah. Um, so we've got a nice quantity of these right now. These Maker's Totes are <laughs> mesh. They have snap tops, just like the O-Snaps bag. Yeah. They come with an O-Snaps bag. And yes, a little in scissors. This is, the, this is the snaps that's in there. And it has, this is, this one has two stains of worsted in it. Yes. And it has mm -hmm. like a little scissors thing that yeah. clips on the it. The scissors are great. There is and a there's zip a pocket on the And there's the a shoulder strap there's that you can put strap. on as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, And there's a really zip pocket. Nice. This is such a fantastic. It's a great bag. Yeah. So bag and like big. Yeah. And no, what a lot of people, what a lot of people did with these last year was use them for beach totes too. It's like, cause the mesh, yeah. the sand is going to, there is fabric on the bottom too, but generally yeah, the sand is going to go right through it. Right. It doesn't, uh, well, it doesn't exactly go through. Trust me. I have a sandy bottom bag, <laughs> um, but it's better than like a solid canvas bag. Yeah. And also <laughs> like if I don't know with like precious things at the beach. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah. if a little water gets splashed in it or something, yeah, it's dry. fine. It doesn't, doesn't like, it's not going to ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you so, can put <laughs> in your bag. Yes. Um, and then we also have, yes, here, we also got, so these are the four colors, the red, the purple, olive, and mustard are the ones that we have of the mesh totes. Then we have the backpacks, um, in red and navy. I didn't pull the navy one Which down. I didn't realize that the backpacks have the luggage strap. I have the luggage strap. So, so like, you can slide it over your, this is yeah. such a good travel bag. So you can like just pop it over your suitcase handle and it won't tip over. Yeah. And yep. feet. Feet on the bottom. Yeah. Feet on the bottom, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, I mean, there are some luxury bags that don't have feet on the bottom, and I hate that. Wow, that's not nice. Um, yeah, and that's not nice. I love the straps on the front. <laughs> yeah, the straps on the front, you can, like, yeah. tuck things in. And they're, they, have, they have magnets. They have magnets. The and actually, we have some more. Are there more of these down here, or are they on Yeah, your, they're over yeah. here. There's a zip here. It's a padded back. Yeah. So you can like tuck your wallet there. You tuck your wallet in, and then this nobody a, can like. Yeah. It's this a great such commuting a great bag too, honestly. Everyday like, bag. Yeah. There's yeah. a spot Not for your laptop for, that's yeah. padded. There's a bunch of pockets in here that you can't see, but I can. Pockets and and zipper pencil pencils or things. knitting needles. Knitting needles, an interior zip pocket as well. Mm. And there's a yarn guide in here. A yarn somewhere. guide in yep. here. And cutter. There's and a cutter. cutter. This is a yarn cutter. Okay. Um. Yeah. So maybe really I lied. Thoughtful, I thought it was a guy that's a cutter. Really it's thoughtful. So thoughtful. Good. <laughs> I love the, that they have mm -hmm. a cutter there so that it's it's one Top that handle. would be perfect for travel. Backpack. And we only got a few of those, um, but yeah. yeah, we do have them. And this then one of the ones that's been super popular um, for I'm going to get one of these. I don't know which color. Is the Mini yeah, Messenger. Yeah. Um, this is so great. I you know, think I'm bleeding. You can you can use it as like your all day go around bag and still fit something like a sock project in yeah, and a hat yeah. project. It's a cute little cross anything body. like that. Yep, crossbody. Yeah. It's got or a sling. nice. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned I'm about to have two phones, so I can't 
carry um, my Hobie wallet anymore because that only fits one phone. So I'm gonna have to like. Uh -huh. They're still, and Stephanie, they're still doing that. That's That was the company that I referred when I had two phones. It's very annoying. <laughs> very annoying. This also has interior pockets. But. Love yeah, it. Yeah, I think I'm going to get there. one of these to be like my home uh -huh. bag. Yep. I think this is your. Talent. It probably is. I do like the navy too. I so, too. and That's these are all made out of, you know, really nice high quality wax, wax canvas, canvas with leather details. So they're not going to wear out. They're just going to age naturally and, Deep pocket, um, yeah. you know, continue to look really look good. Beautiful. Yeah. And you know, reasonably priced. They're under a hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. I mean, great. you know, so anyhow, these makers collection from Delic really plenty of room. For There's projects. a ton of room. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Yay. Love it. It's funny. Our teacher, uh -huh. Erica, has been, she got one a while ago. And every time I, every time she comes in, she's wearing it. It's like, it's so become cute. her everyday bag. We also have the maker. Oh, that's right. These, these needle cases. These needle I'm cases, not sure what the, the exact name folds. of these are, but, and we do still have like a few wallets, of the like older style as well. I love this though, because you can just say. be like, actually, <laughs> they say this is a yarn feeder. Oh. Feeder and cutter. This is the cutter. That's the cutter. Oh, yeah, so okay. Right. There's like a little cutter right here. Tiny yeah. little one. Tiny. So that's so nice to like not have to carry scissors with you to yeah. have that, you know. They used to be incorporated option. in this. And that, I wonder yeah. if they, they're always revising. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. That's like awesome. It. So, uh, answer our question and you can win one of the fabric. The fabric? For those snaps. Those snaps. Yeah. Not the maker. Yeah. Um, but. The, uh, the maker's bags are all available online. Um, and yeah, and also yeah, all of, well, and we'll, we'll get these guys up on the website yes. this week for next weekend. They weren't, sure. we, we were talking about it for newsletter last week. Not everything was on, on the website yeah. last, but it it's, was on Monday midday. Yeah. But even these guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. Oh, I man. have done it. Well, Super. I got the newsletter and I was like, oh, I really should do that. It was on my cool. bullet journal right. list to do and I Great. bumped it up in the queue. But Great. you can always see the full, full in store. Yeah. yeah um, but, but now, yeah, but now. really should just about everything should be online. Wonderful. Super cute. So answer our question and don't forget to follow us online, guys. Um, we're going to go get some food because we're starving. Uh -huh. We're so hungry. Um, and I hope you guys had a good Fortnight, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been watching Needles of the Ready? Have you been watching Needles of the Ready? Um, hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> so. Sure to like and subscribe. Exactly. If and you want to learn more about Jen's classes, sign up for the newsletter. Yes. Or Amanda's multi-session workshops that will be coming up. Or just yes. go ahead and sign up. Um, you can sign up for the for the class. class. Just sign up for the class. You can yeah. just sign up for the class. Oh, it's, it is. She's got a lot of people already. We have so. help time on the weekends yes. now, but yes. not every weekend. Every we other. Heard More or less every other. Yeah. So we have help time in the store during the week, usually on Mondays and Fridays. Except if it's a Monday that's right. That no one's around or whatever. Right. Yeah. But Pretty that's a usually, whenever. right? And we had folks coming in on the weekends um, and we had three classes on Saturdays, but yeah. we really can't do help time while there's classes at no, the table it just too. doesn't it work. Doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so I was encouraging everybody. I felt, felt like a broken record on Saturday. I'm like, do you get the newsletter? Scroll to the bottom of the newsletter. There's the help time for the week every single week. Yeah. So if you're ever wondering if you're stuck on a project and you live locally and you're like, Oh, I need help on this. I'm just going to pop over to Yarnia and check out when our help time is. And then and there will be an instructor dedicated to helping people. Exactly. Whole, and if know, it's a five minute question, pop on by any time. If it's much more than five minutes, we yeah. really appreciate when you come to our yes. help. Cause then we can adequately help you and we want to. Yeah. And we want so, to you and, and other customers who are coming in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And, and still have our folks be able to get lunch and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's important that people be fed. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> We're so picky. Uh, <laughs> and we're getting punchy. We, we're definitely getting punchy. Lack of food. All, All right, right, guys. Thank, thank you. you. And if we'll you see you next this time. Far, we really applaud you. Yay. Take care. Happy knitting. Happy crochet. Bye. Bye.